Uh, nobody on Zoom. None of our members are on Zoom, I'm sure, right? I mean, this is this is kind of it. This is it. Okay, so are we live? We are? Okay. Welcome all of you to the special meeting of the Nantucket Historic District Commission. Uh, today's Tuesday, January 24th. It's 4.06. PM and all of our members are live today. So just so that you all know, we're gonna be doing a voice vote rather than roll call because we don't need uh, to do that because no one's on Zoom. Um, so present at today's meeting are Diane Coombs, Abby Camp, Ray Pohl, myself that is, Stephen Welch and Connie Patton. Uh, we are not expecting any other members or quite a few people that are all away on vacation. So um, I think that might become an issue on some of the old business items in particular. Ah, for those of you in the room, two very brief things. One, if you could mute your phones and two, let us know if you're going to plan to record any of this event uh, with your own material. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I guess the first thing we want to do is approve today's agenda so and diane has made that motion to approve tonight's agenda all we need to do is voice vote so all those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. any opposed okay that motion carries so is there any public comment at this time hearing none any yes 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 up oh, up oh, sorry yes go ahead and there's somebody else has their hand up oh um but very real quickly this is my last Tuesday meeting with you guys. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought it would be my very last meeting because I had an appointment that was rescheduled on Thursday. So I will be following the Thursday meeting. But it's been real. <laughs> it's been almost 16 years following HDC meetings. And um, I've had, there have been some ups and there have been some downs. And it's been a hell of a ride and i will miss you guys terry we're gonna miss, miss you. you too yeah. boy wow no that was a kind of a shocker last week um well whatever you happen to be traveling on to i wish you the best of luck thanks terry for all your help terry i reiterate the comments i made at capcom <laughs> you're the best we're gonna miss you in short yeah Okay. I don't know what well, I'm going to do with my Tuesday nights. <laughs> well, <laughs> Come on you over. might actually be able to recreate. <laughs> Fancy that. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. Okay, Terry, thank you. And Terry, did you mention somebody else had their uh, hand up? Uh, yes. I yeah, that lady right there. But she's muted. Oh, ma'am, whoever you are, you're muted. You need to unmute before you speak. Thank and we need you. your name and and um yeah I yeah your name it. for the record no you're still muted yes okay how's that yes. okay okay so thank you're, you're ginny clark i yeah. am yes thank you mr chairman i'm here for the 246 highland um review and i just don't it, once that comes up i don't i know i don't need to be in the whole meeting but once that comes up will i be able to speak then or yeah uh, of course uh, but okay. um uh yes yes is the short answer um okay. i, I haven't looked to see where that is i i, I think that you're um you're going to be one of a fairly large number of people so if, right. now here's here's the catch because we're a short board, it could be that the applicant may want to hold. So, uh, um, all right. you know, we just got to see how it plays out. Uh, so where is that on the agenda, folks? Can it's anybody... a new business. It's after... new yeah, it's pretty soon. It's oh, like oh is it the... soon? Yeah, OK, like we'll hang in there for a little while longer and we'll see whether uh, the applicant is going to want to request a full. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Chairman, the applicant uh, emeritus requested to hold all their um, applications due to an illness. Oh, OK. Well, all right. So well, this that... makes it all simple. Did you hear that, Jenny? I did. Yes. And I just okay, want to so... clarify one other thing. I think 
I sent a letter. I think you received the letter. Does that get read or is that just read offline? Well, it will. Well, when it gets disseminated to us, yeah. Uh, usually we read it on our own. Okay. Um, but so we are going to, we're obviously, if, if no one's here to represent this and it doesn't sound like there will be, it will not be heard at all tonight. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then it uh, kicks it two weeks, maybe. Uh, it goes to next Tuesday, assuming that Matt's back and he has his situation reconciled. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank right. you very and much. That is, I believe there's a number of you probably in the queue that are interested in the Highland Drive or Highland, is it called Highland Drive or Highland Road? Ave. 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 Highland Ave applications. And so uh, the word from Esme is that all, all of the emeritus applications tonight are going to be held due to an illness. Okay. That would include Highland Ave. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very all much. Right. Bye -bye. Um, okay, so now we're on to consents. Let's take a look at that. Uh, I need to recuse. Um, we did get a letter about eight. Um, um, what is it? I was just looking let, let at it. See, does anybody else need to recuse? Because, oh my goodness, Jesse's Jesse. popped in. Sorry, yes, I uh, made change plans. Two, two, oh, two, so. oh, okay, well. That's great. So let the ref record reflect. Well, that's not. Let the record reflect that Jesse Drutra has joined us. So, um, take it? Stephen, why don't you take it? Yes, All right. that'll make it. Chairman easy. is recusing. Yeah. Um, what is the what is the street address of the letter? Eight. eight. Yeah. It's consent with conditions. Is is number eight? Is that the one? That oh, yeah. H. Uh, Mr. Chairman, okay. I'm here. Jason Leonardo Finger. Um, the person who wrote the letter about eight Chuck Hollow. Okay, thanks, Jason. We're going to get to that in a moment, okay. and you'll have a different chair at the time. Okay. Um, just so you know. So on oh, consent. uh, consents number one through 15, is there a motion to approve? So moved. All in favor of Abby's motion, say aye. 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 No, none opposed, carries unanimously. Back to you, Mr. Chair. Okay, Stephen, thank you. So now we are, we are on to consent with conditions, and I believe that there's a there is a, a concern about eight Chuck Hollow. Is that it? Yes, it is. Right. We I received something on this. Um, should we pull that from from consent with conditions? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to um, I'm going to request a mo motion to approve items one through five on consent with conditions so that we can deal with. Um, item number six separately. So would somebody care to make that I'll motion? Make that One, motion. two, three, four, five. Okay. So um, we're going to... One, recused. two, five. Oh, Jesse's recused. He's on number two. Oh. Uh, okay. Very good. So Jesse's recused. So that's you, Connie. All right. Um, so I'm sorry. You just made a motion, right, Diane? Yeah. And that would be items one through five on consent with conditions. That's a motion to approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Very good. Now <laughs> let's take up uh, the pool and hardscape at eight Chuck Hollow. Now, or have we pulled this because of the letter of concern from the neighbor? Uh, yeah, yeah some points were raised that I'd like this. I mean, okay, was to consider. All right. So, who wants to begin the discussion on this? And I think we should be very careful because, as far as I can tell, there's nobody here to represent, and this could be a case where we yeah. we should probably allow Lindsay to be able to present. And yeah. uh, I, I I'm not to. I think it would be unfair to have both. I didn't realize Lindsay wasn't here, um, but I think it would be unfair to have um, without the applicant here, just as a matter of general procedure. Mm -hmm. And also agree, including to just answer questions we may have mm -hmm. of the applicant. So I would motion that we hold this till Thursday. Sounds good. Okay, so the, the motion is to hold until Thursday. And Connie, why don't we just keep you on that one for now? Keep and, it clean. And Jason, um, that's, uh, we meet at 1 p.m. One on Thursday? Yeah, one, we can do okay. that. 
Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right. So on Stephen's motion to hold until Thursday, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Very good. Okay. Uh, we're to the view now. Is there just that one? Let me check. Just that one commissioner? Just that one view. No, I'm not on the list. Oh, I have a whole load. Oh, of I only have me. No, well, you're chairing. Diane's on it. Abby. And Connie. So, well, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you got four out of your five. Can you tell me who they are again? Mm -hmm. You, Diane, Abby, Val, who is not present, and Connie. Okay, so it'll be up to the applicant, um, whose representative happens to be here, Jesse. Oh, um, so yeah, we have we have one more than we did last week, right? Oh, you're short, <laughs> Val. Um, so we have total. Four. Yeah. So it's pretty easy, and if we need to make any changes, um, I'm happy to again. Okay, let me just pull this up. We got it up on the screen, please. Like, is your agenda all spaced out? It's a staff agenda. Oh, 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 oh I see. That's nice. Well, it's like we're flying through page after page. <laughs> no, 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 this is good. I'm going to take my own little notes here. You want mine instead? I, I okay. No, you guys no, ready? No, it's good. It's good. I like the space. Um, Jesse, why don't you go ahead? <laughs> so it's a little pool in the backyard on Mississippi Ave. Um, it's uh, probably the reason why I went to view is because the way Mississippi Ave works it, it is uh it basically ends in their driveway so um technically you can um uh see see their yard from mississippi ave even though it's far back off of uh, uh off of the road so um if you want to scroll down to see what we have proposed And so right there at that cul-de-sac and the top of the uh, site plan is the end of Mississippi Ave. Okay. But it's for the most part uh, behind the house and behind the shed. Okay. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Diane, you motioned for the view. Do you have any particular questions at this no, point? I do, well I couldn't go out but uh, a friend went out onto the harbor and to see that the other one the other solar panel house is just down a little bit from it this is just for the pool right? this is oh pool. this is the pool I did both 11, while I, Mississippi, 11 Mississippi yeah so My my view of what they what they said and whatever is that the that I thought the thing of having a pool in Madigan was sort of not accepted. I thought they didn't want any. I thought that's what we were trying to do, but uh, I think it's I think it's very tenuous because of the of the vegetation may or may not survive it. It depends all on the weather. So I didn't come to an absolute decision. Sorry. Okay. Um, Abby? Well, so is, so is the, is Arkansas, the view from Arkansas, is that an issue? No, there's, I mean, the vegetation, this is not near the beach. It's not near the harbor. It's inland and uh, there's some pretty sizable vegetation all around. So and it's and it's fifteen by thirty, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Well, that's what it says here. Right. Yeah. Just, <laughs> but but no, my concern then, if that's the end of the cul-de-sac and then the house and it's behind the house, um, would be view from, you know, from around the other 
which looks, sounds like it's Arkansas. Yeah, I mean, there's, I don't think there's any way you could see it from Arkansas. Um, and you'd have to go in basically into the Mississippi. You're, if you're on Mississippi Avenue at that cul-de-sac, that is your best shot of seeing seeing the pool between the house and the shed. Okay, so then- And then we've showed the pictures of, of you know, from that angle. So what is your, um, how are you screening it from that cul-de-sac? Well, it, honestly, I, you, don't, you don't really see it. I'm happy to add some screening if you'd like. Um, but if you look at the, the photos of, of um, from Mississippi, if you scroll back up, um, uh, I think it's actually one more. We're, we're, um, yeah, so you can see that this is, you know, also during the winter, these shots. And right. there's not really any way you can see. So, yeah, right at that. I mean, um, well, I guess that that must be uh, Townland, that little. Is that the cul-de-sac? That yeah, that's the right cul-de-sac there, which okay. is basically the neighbor's driveway. OK. And there's no like that. That Mississippi Ave has been bought up by uh, different people. There's no. You know, there's it's just paper road where it basically ends at that cul-de-sac. So be, at the end of that cul-de-sac. You have two houses, the house that I'm applying for and the neighbor's house. And um, so that is the end of Mississippi Ave is basically two houses. And then the paper road continues, which has been bought up and not really. Um, I would I guess I'd be OK with it if if that that maybe you supplement some vegetation just to make sure when we put in that pro proviso about not being um visible from a public way just to make sure that happens uh sure no problem mr chair yeah i do have comments oh, okay i didn't see a color coding so i wasn't sure it's fine go ahead um thank Next you mr time. chair so just for the record the on the lot there's a mm -hmm. circa uh, 1983 non-contributing structure um this is located in the vr zoning district which would require a zba approval to answer i think um Diane's uh, question about allowing it. So it does have to go through ZBA after the HTC provides an approval if you're so inclined. Uh, based on the photos provided, um, I believe it will not be visible for Mississippi Ave or Arkansas Ave. I do think that the deck area is a little hard um, with edges um, for such an informal area within um, Mattaquit. Um, and with that, I would recommend should the um, commission be so inclined to attach your proviso that you put on to your um, approvals. And with that, um, maybe even um, recommending some sort of vegetation that's appropriate to Mattaquit. Um, but yes, those are all paper roads um, and that's the visibility that you'd, you'd see. So those are my comments, Mr. Chair, thank you. Okay, thank you, Holly. Connie. <laughs> Tissue, maybe some vegetation would be nice. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm comfortable with it given the I did a view. Uh, I think our the condition that's on there, which is not this full time inspection. Excuse me, Stephen. Sorry. I um, couldn't hear I couldn't hear Connie at all. She needs to make sure her mic is on and use it. Okay. Mine's on. Go ahead, Connie. Oh, um, I just said that I don't have. Oh, can I give me two mics? <laughs> Any issue, um, you know, maybe add some vegetation. Other than that, nothing. Uh, I agree with Connie. Um, and just note that it does have our condition, not visible time inspection or thereafter. So, um, Diane, did you have another comment? Yeah, what, looking at it up there, which is easier than the pictures that I saw, what Holly mentioned, I think, is would be very, very good to make the, make it softer. It's very rectangular, the, the coping around the pool to, to make those edges softer so it sort of fits in, not quite so uh, harsh. Okay. Um, is there other support on that? Is, Jesse, is there, is there room I mean, to it's, soften it's the edges? Kind of, I mean, it's kind of hard to um, soften a rectangle shape, but... Um, I'm, I'm sure we could do something on the uh, outside corners of, of the lounge area. Yeah, that's what 
I meant just out there. Okay. Um, how about a motion? I'll make a motion um, to approve um, with, um, what did you say, softening the edges? Yeah, yeah softening, softening the edges, edges of the pool. Um, and so that, because it looks like there is a clear shot here, that, that you provide extra vegetation from that um, cul-de-sac, Mississippi. Did you want that to be indigenous material? It's native. Native, yes. yes. So, okay. Thank you. Sir Staff? Yes. Okay. Please. On uh, Abby's motion, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries unanimously. Okay. Back to you. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, uh, we're at the Westmore Club for a couple of things. One is a cottage. One is a garage. Start with a cottage. Um, for both applications, I sent in some supplemental info. There's just sorry, your name for the record, just so that uh, Terry gets it. Yep, Adam uh, Davis from Goldsmith Architects. Thank you, Adam. Uh, one, two, three. Um, you know, I wasn't paying attention. It, have we, we have six people. Jesse would be up. Jesse, you're up. Okay, so Jess, you're on this. Gotcha? Good. All right. Why don't you stay on both of the, the Westmores just to keep it consistent? All right. Sorry, Adam. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the cottage that we're proposing is located at the northeast corner of the grass courts at the Westmore Club. Um, mm -hmm. So it's on the club property. Mm -hmm. uh, basically sandwiched between the courts and uh, the wetlands and then uh, the private residences that are along Cliff Street. Uh, Cliff Road. Or sorry, Cliff Road. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The footprint is roughly 1,800 square feet with a 14 by 14 porch on one side. Uh, it's sort of built into the hill a little bit, so it's got a little more elevation on the back side facing the wetland. Uh, but otherwise, it's mainly a single story house, but there's a little over 600 square feet on the second floor, but that's built into the roof. Uh, so more or less in the gable or the one high peak uh, that's 24 feet high. Uh, yeah, aside from that, it's a white shingle on the walls, red shingle on the roof. We have called out white trim uh, and green window sashes with green shutters uh, mm -hmm. would also you know, be open to maybe going more natural if the white feels like it stands out a little too much. Um, but then the drawing, or I sent a rendering that shows the view from the highest point of view from the club and then also from the grass courts, basically just showing that it's, uh, it's gonna be sort of tucked into the vegetation. You'll see the root kind of poking up above. Um, I don't see the rendering in our package, but I, I have hard copies too, if you'd like me to pass those out. <laughs> Yep, would you like the hard copies? Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, do you have enough for us? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't come backwards. How, how do you get pictures? I get the agenda. What, you, what button did you press to get? Um, oh, do you want to do you want to look at it on your tablet? And so just keep in mind, the first image is for the next application, the garage, but mm. the following ones are for uh, the view from the phone. Thanks. Thank you. No, I meant, yes. you, you meant, oh, and then you oh, wow. from here. Okay. So vis-a-vis -vis the tennis courts, the grass courts, it's way down the hill there. Yep. We're just seeing the roof of it. Yep. And we're just seeing the roof of it when we're on the private property of Westmore, by the way. Okay. It's not meant to be front and center. It's meant to be tucked away. Yeah. And I think the poor people that are renting there while they're playing tennis. Oh, actually, it's not going to make a lot of noise because it's a grass court. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chair. Dunk, 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 dunk. Um, comments from the board. <laughs> Mr. Chair. Oh, sorry. Go I ahead. just wanted to mention that we did have um, an abutter in that was waiting in queue. I think the last meeting um, for this. I don't know if they're here or not, but I just wanted to re remind the commission Do we have there any might be somebody up in that queue up there. I don't see anybody. Okay. 
I'm going to move forward with this um, unless we hear from somebody. But uh, so board members, uh, I have a question. Yes, Steve. Uh, the uh, Adam, you said white shingle. I just want to confirm you're talking about white cedar shingle. Yes, correct. Okay, we had a recent white shingle episode. Oh, yes, we oh. did. <laughs> and I saw the application said bleach natural white. weather, but it could yeah. still, if it was a bleach, it would still be could natural the weather. Um, I have no concerns of the structure. Okay, thank you. Uh, Abby, you ready? I'm having technical difficulty. Ah. Diane's all set. Diane, you ready to go? That's, uh, yeah, Question. I think it's set in and it's off Westmore and stuff. And I think it's okay. Okay, thank you, Diane. Let's see, Jesse, right? Did you get right? Um, yeah, the, the building looks good. Um, is that a new driveway going in? No, there's uh, an existing, uh, basically maintenance drive that goes down to an existing uh, little storage shed down there. Okay, got it. So it's, it's just it's just adding some additional parking. Yeah, we were discussing uh, essentially cutting a path across the northern edge of the property. But that's something that's not fully worked out yet. Okay. I have no concerns. Thank you. Okay. Abby. Yeah, I'm, I, it's pretty adorable. So <laughs> nothing to nothing to say. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, this is this this building is designed such that it could actually be right up on Cliff Road and it would still be approvable. So the fact that it's down there off the hill on the private property overlooking the wetland is, is sort of icing on the cake for me. So can I have a motion from somebody? Motion approved is submitted. All right, sounds good. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Here you go, that's number one. Thank you so much. now we'll direct our attention to the to the garage, which is just adjacent to this, right? Uh, it's a little, it's nowhere near the courts. So the garage is more or less adjacent to the, the two new courts that were built last year. Oh, okay. So not the one that's like on the same site plan that says future multi-use garage. That's yep, not that's a, more that's, that's a future application. Okay, never mind. Basically looking to gotcha. build a better storage shed uh, instead yes. of the one that's down there. The world will beat a path to your door. Yep. <laughs> so uh, in this application, it's more or less along the east um side of the property so if you're coming up from westchester uh you have the new courts in the wall to yep. your left and you have two uh existing cottages and a small garage on your right and then this will be at that parking area just in front of the two next small little dormitories um and essentially that's just been a kind of catch-all for maintenance equipment and boats and trailers and whatnot and so the club has proposed to do a uh, timber frame maintenance garage basically tucked in there. Uh, it's not very visible Thank from you. really anywhere that's off the property. Uh, it's a single story gable roof with a shed coming off the side. Uh, again, so same situation as far as uh, white cedar shingle on the roof, red cedar shingle, or sorry, white cedar shingle on the walls, red cedar shingle on the roof, uh, white trim green windows, uh, no shutters, um, keeping it fairly mm -hmm. simple. Adam, I'm just trying to figure out. So as you as you come off of Westchester and you start going up that hill and the courts are on the left. Yep, it's right at the turn. On the right-hand side of the Correct. turn, right? Yep, so there's that small parking area I, on the right-hand side. Yes. And this okay. is basically on Got the it. south side of that parking gotcha. area. Gotcha. Okay, thank so you. So essentially where there was a row of parking, we're putting the garage. Yeah. Knowing that we could park it. something oh, inside. cool. Um, all right, thanks. Board members. I'll go. Thanks. Uh, if this were visible, I'd have some comments such as make the windows larger to change the perception of the proportion of the wall to window ratio and the doors, both the person and the service doors. But it's not, so I won't. Wait, what? Okay. You, you what? would say that if what? If this were visible. Oh. You're going to catch a fleeting glimpse of it. Yeah. I, yeah. I drive up that driveway every night. I'm not sure that I'm allowed to, but uh, I do. <laughs> it's supposed and, to go uh, on the cliff. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm, you're going to see the back side of this, and it's going to be behind other buildings. I think we have colors. Co yeah. Comments? Yeah, crisp. Yes. Colors on the garage. Oh, color. Oh, sorry. Oh, natural cedar, white on the wall, white cedar on the walls, red cedar. On no, the no. Wall. She asked for the garage doors oh. specifically. Uh, white. White. Okay. And those do face away from Westchester, Correct. just FYI. And those certainly could be Essex green to match the trim or to match the window sashes. Okay. Thank you. Anything else, Diane? No. No, I think I'd like to go with the Essex green, but maybe the white. I, I like that too. Okay, let's see. Anyone else? Um, I can go. Okay, thanks. Um, I, I, I think <coughs> to um, Stephen's point about if you're coming up the driveway, those windows do seem a little small. Could they be A's instead of B's? Because your A's are. Are you talking about the ones on the south side? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. the ones that face Westchester. Mm. Okay. Could those just be a little bit bigger just to be, um, they just look a little small. I agree. I agree. And that's the side, if you're going to see anything, that's going to be the one that you see. Yeah, this, that elevation will mainly be hidden by hedge as you come up because oh. uh, we're basically are going to add a couple of parking spaces along the driveway as you come up and then hide the back space here with privet hedge. Um, but if that gets us an approval, I'm happy to make those taller okay well just in case the privet doesn't take yep <laughs> we'll be covered so yeah. i'd make a has anybody uh, actually jesse has to go okay. you know anything no I'm good, good. Yeah. you're okay with making the windows in the south a little larger yeah okay is that you're going to be your motion right yeah yeah so abby's motion is to approve this uh with the first floor windows on the south elevation being enlarged from b's to a's which will make them slightly larger all those in favor of Abby's motion. And what about color green on the doors? Oh yeah, and uh, can we add that sure. green on the garage doors? Essex green. Not gonna see it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that, that's appended <laughs> onto Abby's motion. Essex green garage doors. So all those in favor favor of uh, Abby's modified motion. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see. Now we're going to um, Seven Summit. It, it, summer. It's Summer Street. Yeah, it says Summit, but it's Summer. Yeah. Hey there. Hey. So now this, we don't have a, a locust plan, at least not on the thing that I'm looking at. I'm assuming this is in town, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. The Summer Street in town. And so it was not colored to say that it was in town, but it, it is in the OHD, correct? Yes, sir. It is. All right, very good. Well, um, so why don't you just brief overview? Looks like you're replacing the foundation. Uh, I mean, the I wouldn't call that foundation. It's just like a loose uh, cinder blocks right now. Yes. So the shed was rotted. So yeah. instead of kind of trying to replace uh, that structure is like so small, it could be just like lift it aside and then uh, putting a sauna tube instead of the uh, loose. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So uh, sauna tubes. Instead of that whole rubble, uh, it would be just a couple of sauna tubes that would uh, hold this uh, small structure. So you, you're going to need to replace the, the floor framing, right? Uh, putting on sauna tubes, I would imagine. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and it's mentioned something about a deck. And I mean, that's, uh, you can see in here, it kind of extends uh, past, uh, past the shed. The shed is so small. I so do see the deck. So are you simply asking to rebuild that? Yes. The same way it the is? The same way it is. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. I think Holly probably has some comments on this. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, so for the record, um, this is a circa 1790 typical Nantucket. So she's an oldie. Two 1790 and a half, seven, shed? No, the house. Oh, the this house. This is okay. the, the I'll, I'll get to that. So this okay. um, work <laughs> okay. is proposed on a rear L. Um, I'm going to provide a photograph from Google um, prior to any work being done. You can, I know it's a little dark, but I apologize for not having it digital, but it's a two and a half story, four bay with a center ridge chimney and a side entry. And then this is the rear L on the back. 
Um, and I know um, he's been doing some work. He got approval for Windows, um, but this work has been ongoing. Um, and although I understand that um, he's trying to do the right thing, um, however, do the age of this historic structure and, and the L at the rear is um, probably original to the, the um, original structure, maybe a little bit um, more contemporary, but not by much. Um, photos are not enough uh, to vet this existing and proposed work. Um, obviously, the overall work, um, as is mentioned, uh, to have cinder block replaced with piers, we need need to know details. Um, also, the proposed plans would, would be nice. I just don't think that what's been submitted is sufficient enough for this historic structure. Um, and understanding that sometimes when you're uh, working on uh, a structure, rock can uh, lead you astray. <laughs> so those are my comments, Mr. Chair. I do think that we need to get a little bit more. Thank you. Great. Yeah, I'm looking at this and it's, it's interesting because you have one photograph that shows sort of what are clearly very old, possibly original boards, yeah. and then spliced onto that are much more contemporary, like, you know, pine shiplap with, uh, you know, uh, milled two by fours for the framing. So some of it's old, some of it's new. Um, all right, so I'm gonna send this to the board and uh, Connie, can you sit on this one? Or one, two, three, four. Yeah, Connie, it's your turn. Okay. Comments. I'll go. Yes. Uh, I agree with Holly, just supplement the information. I think a simple floor plan that shows us existing and existing to be modified. Mm -hmm. And um, Holly, what did, through Mr. Chair, what year did you say the structure was? 1790, typical yeah. Nantucket. Okay, thank you. So, you know, pretty clearly with these uh, CMUs there, that portion of, at least with respect to the foundation, isn't original. So I'd also like to know when you submit the floor plan, kind of which portion of the uh, work area these images uh, coincide with. So are you, are you talking about replacing only CMUs? Uh, I mean, you can answer it, but I also want to have it in the record. Yes. Yeah, so or are you are you also replacing other aspects of other portions of the foundation, which are you know uh, so granite or something else? The, the photo you see that's where existing shed used to be. Okay. And it's just uh, going to be going exactly the same place, just uh, kind of making that. Uh, foundation uh, that it sits on the more structural sound, I guess, because I mean, it could go back on, but it just like those blocks, there is no, no like real footing or anything anyway. Uh, okay, and then the other question I have is through Mr. Chair, mm. that it's hard to tell, but from one image, the shed addition or uh, portion of the structure looks very small and another I'm not sure I'm looking at the same thing. It looks very large. Can we go to the picture that shows the shed uh, appendage it's, with a door? It's, I think, the first picture. Is this the entirety of the area of work? Yeah, that's like shed, but like four by five. Uh, it's like really small. Okay, and then sorry to cut you off, but I want to facilitate. Can we go to the next image that shows? Yeah, what's this part? That's a, that's the shed just from the different side. side. Okay. Um, okay, it just, just looked just the the back. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Was it for some reason? Just we could use some more pictures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, could you? A few just drawings. Um, Two. Yeah, so I think a simple drawing and um, a couple more pictures that are, are these pictures kind of so tight because of the proximity of other structures? Uh, can you step back and get a little bit more in? Yeah, I can. I, I can think that would be helpful to your case. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Show us the building. Yeah. That's looking on from Pleasant Street over to the site side. Sorry, Mr. Chair. The the Google Street view that I, I passed out is looking from from the existing before any work was done in that back L. 
you can stand and look across the Hadwin House garden from yeah. Pleasant Street and see this back L completely. I was now, wondering oh, if that was. So like, I, I think north. this proposed this this little uh, butt out is on the other side. Is that correct? This is where it's really difficult to discern from your photos. I have one more question on you that. You can see it, that from Pleasant Street. You're right. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So the in this pass out. Oh. The shed that he's talking about is this little thing that you can barely discern as being different than the L. Behind the tree, some of it's obscured, but it's this little tiny area here. I mean, I'm saying tiny relative to the house in the yeah, L. Yeah, yeah. At first, I thought it was the whole L, which no, was of concern. No, that's only like a shed, yeah. like like I said, five feet by four feet. It's uh, hard to see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's. Um, it's real tiny. Would everyone concur? Would all the board members concur that we just need to get some more information about this guy? No. Yes, to yes. Be able to move forward. Yeah. No. I think so. The bottom line is we just need to see some more stuff uh, from you about what you're doing and what it, it's hard to piece it together with just these few and the photos. site plan and a motion, site plan would be good yeah motion for a site plan a very simple floor plan showing the affected area relative to the existing okay. l and some images that are a little further back okay yeah, can we hey, get a general picture of the house can yeah, and just just house. to move this along because he's obviously actively working on it can, can we put this on for next time assuming he gets the information in promptly next time being thursday or tuesday uh, let, next Tuesday, okay? okay. Thursday is a little bit too quick turnaround. Unless you All can right. do it. Okay, next Tuesday. Next can you Tuesday. do it Thursday? Yeah. You get us this stuff in. Okay. Sounds good. All, All right. right. So Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. So the motion is to get more information and to have it re-reviewed with that additional information next Tuesday. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Yeah. Now we're on to the old business cycle of... Uh, December 13th, first application of which is for Mirka, who's in the room. Now, Mirka, I'm sure that you've noticed that you have Abby sitting as chair, Diane's here, Stephen's here. You do not have Val or Carrie, and you also don't have any uh, stand-ins. Are you okay? Um, I'm 50-50. <laughs> okay, but so I here's could... here's what I always like to say about this. We can... If you're if you're sitting the fence, you can and things don't go well for you. You can always have one of your two missing members, either Val or uh, Carrie, or both, read back in. Okay. This is eleven at Lincoln. Yeah. No. Eleven. Oh, no, it's not eleven. Seven Street. Yes, yeah, seven East Street. My agenda is missing. Um, I I will give it I will give it a try. I'm I think you kidding. should, but but it's Abby's chair, so. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're taking chances now. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, uh, um, we did pretty follow the comments what the board um, suggested as an initial. This was in front of you in, in August, I want to say. It was like a little, we kind of put it on the back burner. So here we are back. So I will quickly just, you know, read the comments. So the major of the comments or changes to this. Uh, was the fence. Uh, initially, we illustrated four feet tall picket fence, natural to better. Of course, that's too high. So we lower it to the uh, 32 inches. Uh, it's on the second page, um, just a typical uh, typical type two, but 32 inches, two feet, eight inches high. So just proper to the scale. The after that, the, another comment was the fireplace location into approximately to the Warren Street. So we just eliminated all together. Uh, we kept I kept the patio, but instead initial blue stone, regular blue stone. It's all just irregular Gaussian stone. And the images you can see on your right on the on the plan on the second page. So just really very rustic, quiet, organic patio within the town setting. Uh, there is one more deck at grade, uh, which is of the guest house. Um, <laughs> the clarification for the material, we will remain to keep it as a gravel. It's identified as a gravel on the survey plan. So we'll keep it as a gravel. Uh, the parking and apron, um, it's kind of <coughs> existing paved. 
uh, in a dash line, you can see the original parking. So it's a two car <coughs> parking. So we just made it per call just to make sure it fits uh, one and a half cars. Uh, the apron would be uh, changed. It's as currently you can see on the existing images, it's a paved apron. Uh, I, I, uh, I think we are just keeping it the existing right now. Okay, so the um, just to be clear, that you're saying the driveway is going to be gravel, gravel, and and, and the apron is it's existing and that's paved, paved okay, like tar. Okay, yeah. um, Holly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so for the record, Seven New Street uh, main dwelling on the lot was a structure built in the '90s, I think slash 2000. Um, and then you all have seen some proposed work within the last uh, couple years. And of course, this site's located right in, in OHD. Um, I, uh, first, I want to uh, let America know, appreciate the, the changes. Um, obviously, having the, the two foot, eight inch picket natural to weather is appreciative. Goshen Stone is more appropriate than what was previously. Um, and appreciate the the re Maintaining the existing gravel parking. And that was my comment was about the apron because I understand there's one there of what that material is. Um, that was, I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, I do know that HSAG had a comment and I believe Mickey's here. Oh, great. Okay. Hi, Mickey. Um, you want to comment now? Sure. Thanks, Abby. Um, yeah, we actually had no concerns with this, except that we would love to see the uh, air conditioning units fenced in for screen, you know, screened in with fencing. That's it. And that's can be, and we can screen it uh, with the height of the air conditioning, which would be usually between three to 42 inches, 36, 42 inches high for board fence, natural to weather. Yeah. Okay. No problem. And what, you, did you have something to add? Uh, I just forgot. We also eliminated, there was one of the comments where it was eliminating of the retaining, which is between the shed and guest house, which I kind of eliminated altogether and we'll just work with the grading. So I forgot to mention so, that. So you're just going to perm Exactly. It. We'll just no. learn from it. All right. Um, board members, um, anybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Go. Uh, I appreciate the changes. No concerns. Great. Um, with the fence. With the change in the fence. Okay. Um, Me too. Okay. I think it will work out, and I, the ocean stone I think makes all the difference. Thank you. So we said four, right? So there's one more person. Jesse, are you on this? Just no, three of you. No, there's actually three people on it. Oh, just three. Chance. Yeah, right. Right at the moment, you have. Uh, sorry, you have. I think we've... yourself, Diane, and Stephen. Yeah. Okay. That's so, um, and oh, I'm okay with it. So if we. Have Make a motion. motion to approve this. To the Excellent. Okay. With on the Diane. fencing of the air conditioning. Yes. But with the proviso that the air conditioning gets, um, so get fenced, fenced in. Fenced with in. The... Yeah. Through no staff. Problem. Okay. Through staff. That's Diane's motion. On Diane's motion, Stephen. Aye. Um, Diane, on your motion. Aye. And I'm an aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Now, Emeritus has asked, as we all know, to hold their application. So the two and three are both Emeritus. So we will hold both of those, which put, brings us to 11 Lincoln, which is my project. And there are actually, believe it or not, five people sitting, including the two alternates that are present. So I'm gonna step away from the table and let Mirka. Thank you. Uh, go ahead. And this is this is the house, by the way. They have folks last meeting um, down on Jefferson. That's correct. So, All right. So we thirty two Jefferson now. Yeah, yeah thirty two oh, yes. Jefferson. Your board, Mirka, is myself, Diane, Abby, Jesse, and Connie. Jesse and Connie are stepping in in place of uh, Val and Carrie. And first of all, I meant to even mention before the first application, I apologize, I missed last week. I thought it was, I forgot, it, Monday is being off. I came here on Wednesday and uh, I just realized <laughs> it was Monday too late. So, so I didn't try to ignore you guys. So anyhow, going back to this submission, uh, this was not heard or presented to you. It was tracked with the architecture. And again, I'm sorry, I missed the meeting last week while you were reviewing the architecture uh, itself and everything was approved. So just to quickly remind you, there is the uh, new architecture for the main house. And I have a, some 
existing photography for the landscape, which is between the structures. This building is highly, the main house is highly set on the, at the it, it is at the existing rate. We are not changing the grades around the building. However, the building itself is a little lowered with the finished floor, but we are not altering the existing grade. Uh, and then we have a new proposed guest house, which is set at the street level. So I have between, I believe so, the guest house at the level around 10 um, at, the, at the base uh, and to the main house, which is approximately elevation. I want to say 18. I have a, a eight feet of the grading to do. Uh, the grading is on the plan to isolate it, so it's easier to read, but practically I would like to create little series of this short walls to make the climb easier for uh, owners. It would be two series of the walls, which, you know, are not higher than 30 inches. And uh, there's... And that's practically it. All the walls will be used. Uh, I have photography on the first page, Asmeralda, if you don't mind to like scroll. It would be more like um, Salomon granite. So this is existing situation. You can kind of see how it, the yard looks. It's big open lawn right now. It's pretty steep and uh, sloped. Um, so it just, right now there's a PT retaining, which I would like to substitute with the stone retaining. And the image of the stone is on the page. Um, I've also the last page. It's little around uh, salmon granite with the smaller stones more around it. Well, I'm open for suggestion if that's not acceptable. As well, if you don't mind to scroll to the picture of the materials, that would be helpful. So it's on the top image. It's, it might be hard to see, but uh, again, Okay. So that's about it. And all the walls will be kind of planted within the garden. So they will be not visible or minimally, minimalistically visible. Okay. Before Thank we you. move to comments, um, staff comments, any questions on the application at this point? Okay. Holly? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so this site, obviously, you all seen um, proposed uh, demo of the existing 1980 structure and a new one um, you all approved this month. Um, the proposed material of the Belgian block apron and gravel driveway is consistent with neighborhood or in, in the neighbor to the left specifically. Um, the proposed driveway and apron must comply with zoning, the uh, zoning bylaw 139-20.1. Um, regarding widths and depths of the apron and the turning radius, which I believe America has uh, shown. Um, my only comment or question would have been, um, does the site reflect just the new um, guest house and not the, the main house? But I, my understanding is it reflects both. Well, that's so correct. that's excellent. I have um, no concerns and I'll leave it back over to um, HSAC if that's okay with you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, Mickey, you. do you have a comment? Yeah, well, I mean, we have no concerns. This is good. Thank you. Um, any members of the public? No hands up? Okay. Uh, who'd like to begin? I'm okay with it. Okay, Diane? Okay. We got two okays. Can we make it five with okay. a motion? Just a quick question. Yeah, please. Uh, stone type on the stone wall? Uh, it's um, it's uh, image on the top. It's the smaller oh, okay. granite. Like around natural granite, salmon okay. granite, but the shorter stone, smaller stone, so there's a little bit more structure in it. Okay. Excellent. Uh, motion. Motion to approve as submitted. All in favor of Abby's motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? You. Carries unanimously. And now we're back to our regularly scheduled events with our chairman. Okay, thanks, Stephen. Um, let's see, that was 11 Lincoln. The next one um, is Ethan. Oh, there you are. Okay, fine. But now, so I'm sure that you've noticed that you were missing a few people. So you would, you'd be moving forward with a three person board, myself, Stephen, Diane. You good? You're good. Okay, so let's go. What's the address? Uh, this is 80, 80 Orange Street. Street. 80 Orange, it's a okay. garage studio, which so we have apparently reviewed before. Yeah. 
Jeez. Okay. When you're ready. Steve. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was your Holly. I think. Okay. Uh, Ethan Griffin on behalf of the applicant. Um, so the main um, comments from the last round was to reduce the perceived sort of height of this structure from the street uh, and mitigate um, the rather large kind of shed dormer that we had on both sides. Um, so you can see the previous uh, submission is in the upper uh, right hand corner, uh, and then these are the proposed. Um, so we've reduced the dormer, really just kind of focus the dormer where we need the space upstairs just to sort of get to the top of the stairs and move around. Uh, we've reduced the overall height. By how uh, much, we, Ethan? Excuse me? By how much? I'm curious. Uh, I think we took out 10 inches, maybe? 22 for 21 times. Well, you're not quite 10 inches, friend. Six inches. Six inches. Anyway. Yeah. Um, we previously had a double window at the gable and uh, large doors with glazing in them. You asked us to reduce the glazing and remove the glazing of the doors entirely, make them match what is currently there, which we did. Uh, and then we changed the window from a double to a single. Uh, we also added this sort of lattice, um, sort of pent roof over the doors, again, sort of in an uh, effort to sort of mitigate the overall perceived height. Uh, I believe that the summation of the updates. Okay, Ethan, thank you. Uh, Holly, do we have anything from you and do we have anything from Mickey? Yes, Mr. Chair, you'll have comments from both. Very good. Um, so for the record, on uh, the main dwelling on the lot is a Greek revival circa 1837. It has an updated form B, by the way, aka HTC survey. This was built by one of my favorites, John B. Nich Nicholson. Um, and the garage, the previous garage that was on the lot was built around, I think, 2000. 2000? Um, yes, and that was... Okay. There, wasn't it? I think it was 2009, excuse me. Um, okay. That's been being replaced by the, this proposed. Appreciate the site plan changes um, and, and the, the slight reduction in height. It would be appreciative to see the existing proposal versus the new proposal because there was a little disconnect between that um, in the review. Um, I had a question regarding the dormers. Um, could they be removed entirely? I understand that they were reduced, um, but try to get it more simple. Simple is, is, is a comment that I know the commission has had before. Um, if not, then um, try to reduce the windows. Um, Appreciate the, the diamond windows. That's a, a, a kind of cool characteristic and, and very in keeping um, with the OHD. Um, the existing batten door obviously is appropriate, um, but the, obviously that that transom on the on the top um, is not a traditional or simple detail. Um, and my question, as I had before, was the visibility of the rear from Union Street or what is now called Independent Way. I think it used to be Coon Street. Um, that would be my concern um, because that isn't a kind of an atypical feature, especially on a utilitarian type of uh, secondary structure. So those are my comments, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Mickey, it's to you. Yes, thanks. Um, so the we said the garage doors should be as simple as possible. The transom should be removed. The wide shed dormer on the south will be visible and it should be broken up into smaller dormers. And the lattice roof pent roof on the front is sort of an unusual feature and it, it that should be removed too it's, it's it complicates the building thanks hey uh no sorry never mind mickey i was going to question you on something but i i realized my error thanks thanks a lot um okay so again three person board steven diane myself either one of you ready <coughs> i don't know okay i agree with the comments that have been made I think, uh, Ethan, that with the reduction in height, I presume you took it out of the second floor in the ridge. Yes, the 10 inch. Yeah, we just dropped the plate. Yeah, I think your original design with that change is more appropriate. Um, I mean, it's a nice design. I'm just looking at it in the context of the structure in the front. Um, I would suggest you go back to that, change the window casing detail to match the main structure, uh, you've got that kind of eyebrow head casing going on on the proposed versus the previous existing. I'm referring primarily to the uh, gable forward facing the street. Mm -hmm. Can we go to the uh, right? Okay. 
Can we get rid of all those people in there? You see the drawing. Oh, yeah. uh, more to the right. Thank you. And then zoom in on that quadrant uh, in this way a little. And can you go scroll just a little bit, a little bit more? Okay, so we get an eyeball on the existing, which is in the upper right corner. And then you get a, an eyeball on the proposed and clearly comments about the busyness and so on and so forth, kind of camouflaging the height. Um, they're successful in camouflaging the height, but they're probably not as appropriate for the structure um, given the context. So I'm going back to the original with the second floor reduced 10 inches overall and um, a change in the uh, window casing to match what's more recently proposed. And then on the, the casings, it would be obviously throughout for the, the, the Greek revival style. With the, yeah, with the yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me make sure I understood one part of what you just yeah. said. Did you say that, so right now we have a reduction in the ridge height of six inches. Were you suggesting go to 10? No, I'm suggesting replicate the reduction height on the previous drawing structure and then replicate the window and door casings on that are currently proposed on the previous structure. So the end result is you're lowering what was previously proposed. By six and, inches. Yeah, and you're changing the trim package. If you can get 10 out of it, God bless them. Yeah, please okay. do it. Well, shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah. Um, okay, got it. Thanks, Stephen. Um, let's see, Diane, it's to you. Uh, Stephen, to you a question. On the, art, on the wood trim around the windows, mm -hmm. are you saying use the eyebrow or the... He yeah, is. That's but I saying thought. stick with the I Greek revival to... piece. Matches sure. the house. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you then as far as the vote is concerned. Okay. You left. Oh, you, you shared that. That was the previous one. That's it. Oh, oh, I'm left. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't really love the tent roof, particularly as lattice, I think it would be fine to go back to the Greek revival. Well, which you did, you know, you are suggesting the Greek revival, but to Stephen's point, just doing more like what was there before, which would mean um, window or the lights in the doors in the previous, as opposed to the transom above the doors in the current. So sort of a hybridization of both. I mean, it seems like we could Take care of that through staff potentially. I mean, no, be... we're going to take care of it through staff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can, yeah. Uh, one last thing though. Can, uh, what are thoughts on those doors? They uh, can we scroll up the currently proposed doors without the transom on the previous structure? Uh, well, that's it. That's what you meant with the glass in them. No, without the glass, because these are oh, so no glass. These are a B groove or a board. All right. Glass. So you're saying just nix the transom and then keep the doors the way they are yeah yeah okay well i'm actually more comfortable with that okay so it's more it'll, understated it'll be a motion approved through staff with the um tent roof removed and the transom removed Correct. in the in the side window casings we'll we'll make them all greek revive all the way around wherever, yeah. wherever possible yeah okay okay is that your motion ethan no that, <laughs> right that's my motion I'm joining steven's motion on the motion all those in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed there you go. Thank you very much. All right. Now, new business cycle. That means we can all jump on board. It's a free for all. The first we have is a three step lane commercial building. Always so cold. Yeah, I'm going to go try and turn it. Uh, what did we say? Okay. Somebody remind me where we are in the rotation. Was it back to you, Jesse? Uh, sure. Okay. I didn't put the address on the application. Oh, Veranda House. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it caught fire. <laughs> Uh, there are also people online. What? 
there's people representing this online on the Zoom. Representing it? Architects and Arthur Reed, yeah. Are we going to one or two? Oh, oh so you're gonna represent it, aren't you? We all are. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah, one. okay, all right, all right. Okay. When, you're, when um, you're ready. Yeah, uh, well, why don't you start, friend? Are you, did you get it up? Um, basically, it's replacing the, well, uh, replacing the build, the veranda house that burnt down, um, yes. but with modifications to bring it kind of up to the new code, I guess, or mm -hmm. usability, uh, but trying to keep its original look as best as possible and actually kind of going back to some of the more historic photos with more putting back some more of the more ornamentation that was lost in the uh original God. balconies that went around it um and adding the clabber that was removed off the front over the years uh, trying to bring it back more historically correct and there was a concrete alleyway in the back changing it to like brick more um yeah and i don't know if um the architects are here if they want to make any more comments. Sure. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Douglas Caulfields. I'm with Union Studio uh, Architecture, and uh, we've been working with the client and with Ethan on the on the design for the replacement of the Veranda House. Um, and as Ethan mentioned, um, this was really an exercise of reconstructing the Veranda House to replicate the original, but really with adjustments for required life safety code and structural upgrades that are necessary to meet sort of modern standards. And I thought I would just uh, briefly walk through um, the sort of major adjustments um, that would impact the exterior as a result of those code adjustments, just so to orient you a bit. Um, and then we can we can sort of get into conversation about it. But um, so the primary exercise, um, we brought, um, you know, two fully functioning fire stairs internal to the building. Previously on the north elevation, there was an existing exterior um, open stair that was used for fire egress, which wasn't yeah, really uh, up to code. Um, so we brought both fire stairs inside. So that simplified. Excuse me. I'm going to, yes. I'm going to interrupt you because, uh, either our, either our packages are incomplete or we do not have elevations. Um, yeah, we don't have, we don't have no. them. Yeah. yeah. So the, Neither you, have were, them. you were scrolling through a moment ago there. If you scroll down, hmm, you're right. The elevations are not in your packet. There they should, should be. be, and then there's the hard copies right there. We have the floor plans in one, and then images <clears throat> with some uh, diagrams. Oh, like wait a sec! Cool. Wait a sec. Okay, I have plans now. Do, do you have the plans? Yeah, the plans. Yeah, no, that's it. We have floor plans. We have photographs. We have some detail information from the old design associates drawings, no elevations. Yeah, because we have the, well, the hard copies are right there, but we, well, we'll yeah, because we had existing, well, what was originally there and then proposed. That's my, my fault. Then when I received them, I, I guess I didn't, so I didn't try to get it. Oh, the old, old way. Yeah, How do you do these things? Do we have more than one set? Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's four sets. Okay, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna move over to the hard copies. Who's our um alternate? All right, uh, Jesse. Okay. As the as I can share. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so what he was talking about the original building had a on the north elevation a huge wooden fire escape that approached into the setbacks the, right up into the property lines, and what they're doing is putting the fire safety stairs that were on the, originally on the outside all interior so which removes it out of the setbacks off the property which you can see on the elevations existing and proposed i don't miss this <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, 
So the top right is the original, and the bottom is the big one is obviously the new building. Can you guys walk and see this in order on the pages? Yeah, I'm looking at Jesse's right there. I can see what's going on. So which one are you looking at? South. South. Labeled South. Douglas, you want to explain South? Sure. So am I, am I clear to continue? Yes. OK. Um, so that was the, the removal of the, of the um, exterior sort of uh, stair on the north side. Um, a couple of other items, the balustrade, the articulated balustrade on the verandas was made slightly taller uh, than the original to meet uh, code, to meet guardrail height. It was a minor, relatively minor adjustment and, and in our opinion has very limited impact on the aesthetic, if any, but is really necessary for, for code. Um, the required elevator that we needed for uh, accessibility to the third floor um, has an elevator machine room at the top, which we have um, clad inside what it appears to be a shed dormer that you can see in the south elevation and on the uh, west elevation. Um, and so that was really just to, to shield the, the machine overrun uh, of, the, of the elevator. Um, the porch detailing itself, if you look at the historic photos, the original, uh, there was a balustrade historically that was sort of a stick balustrade, but at the time that it was this more Victorian articulated balustrade that was paired with a more scrolled bracket on the columns. And somewhere along the line, the articulated balustrade was brought back, but the stick brackets remained on the columns. So we're suggesting that with the more articulated balustrade, we also bring back the scroll brackets on the columns. And so you'll see that depicted in our elevation also. Um, as Ethan mentioned on the south elevation, you can see in the lower photograph that's on the screen at the moment with the, where the large um, Randa House uh, signage is shown, you can see that the, the trim at the gable is a frieze that comes all the way across the front elevation. Um, and in addition, there's a photo uh, a little further down, perhaps, that shows the front elevation in clabbered versus shingle. So in both of those cases, we've suggested that we'd like to bring back the clabbered on the front elevation, as well as continue the trim freeze across the front gable uh, as it was uh, at one time. Um, and the other major adjustment is on the east facade, which is facing the lawn. Uh, we are proposing extending the verandas uh, on that facade a little bit to the north um, to provide access from the guest rooms uh, to the veranda and the stairway that can get uh, people down. Uh, and that would connect all the rooms on that side to a veranda and, a, and another means of, of egress. Um, the materials and components, natural white cedar, shingle siding, uh, painted cedar trim. We're suggesting obviously antique common brick used at all uh, cladding at the foundations. There we go, uh, are the elevations, thank you. Um, wood gutters and box downspouts are shown in the south and east elevations, uh, and at, but at the rear of the building, uh, we're calling for copper gutters and downspouts. Um, windows are Boston sash, single pane, true divided, uh, with storms um, and trim at the doors and windows to match uh, the existing understood from the photo documentation that we have. Uh, you'll notice on the east elevation, the French door that goes into the entry level. Um, we understand that that's slightly different than uh, what would otherwise be typical. However, that was the door that was in place at the time of the fire. And so we thought it appropriate to retain that. Um, and the last thing is that we understand there is a, on the site plan, there is shown some retaining walls, a fire pit, terrace, that is, those are existing elements that are currently in place. Uh, we do know that as a result of the construction here, we'll be, um, you know, have to manipulate some of the terrace and hardscape, and we understand that we will come back with a landscape and hardscape plan to address any of the adjustments that need to happen there. So what you see on the site plan is just to depict what's there in place currently, but we understand that we'll be coming back to review that 
as well as signage and, and anything of that sort uh, at a later date. Um, so hopefully that is a, a, a reasonable uh, overview. Oh, one other point on the original south elevation facing the street, um, there was a door with articulated trim that was underneath the veranda. Um, I'll wait till you get there. You can see in the upper right, there was a door with side lights shown uh, in sort of the left-hand bay uh, underneath the veranda, uh, just to the right of the, of the stairs and the covered porch. That is now a, uh, no, to, yep. That's now a fire stair location. And so what we've done is where we have a new, new door underneath the covered porch to the left of the stairs, we brought that door articulation and trim to that location because that is a new stair and egress location at that point um, and replaced the, the one on the front elevation with a window uh, because we can't egress the fire stair uh, at that location. So hopefully that's a reasonable overview of, of the approach that we took. And uh, I'm here with Kara Babcock, who's also an architect with my office. Um, and we're happy to answer any questions. And I'm sure Ethan um, will be able to provide some color commentary as well. Thank you. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Holly, do you want to Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to um, let the commission know that um, the applicant and th their team um, were very um, proactive in um, reaching out to staff and going over the proposal um, as early as October, and then recently going over these plans. Uh, what you see before you, I'm, I'm very happy to see. You'll see a lot of historic details bring, being brought back. Um, that last one in particular is that on the south elevation, the, the front door that was under the second bay, but um, bringing it back over, and that's actually where their um, their life safety um, stairwell is. Uh, so again, this is the veranda house re proposed to be reconstructed um, pretty much as it was prior to the fire. I'm happy to, to see this and I have um, no concerns and I hope the commission's presently surprised. Thank you. Very good. And, um, Mickey probably has something to say on this. No, con no concerns. Okay. Oh, hey, Ray. Uh, yeah. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, we're, we didn't get to see the elevations because they weren't part of the packet. So I'm looking at this for the first time. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm going to add my own comments, not from the entire group of ours. Um, I understand. Yeah, that's fine. So the um, what I'm looking at here in the south elevation, I think, I, th I think the changes to the detailing are all great. The only concern that I think I have just looking at this elevation is that dormer, it's like a fourth floor dormer, it's, and the balcony off of that. I, I'm assuming both of those are new pieces of the building. They are. Yeah. Yeah, so I think just depending on visibility, those are new elements and um, they're, a, they're a concern that I would want to see more clearly. And I, I, that's one of the things I picked up on too, Mickey. So I'm going to be talking about that. Great, thanks. Okay, thank you. Um, are we ready to turn it over to the board now? Sure. All right, let's go. I can start. Yeah, please. Um, please do. So to that dormer on the fourth floor, is that because of the elevator? Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. And I'll, can I just point out that that and if you look at the site plan, it's helpful in elevation. Everything, of course, looks uh, as if it's in the similar plane. But understand that that portion of the building is set quite far back uh, in the in the site. Um, so just understand where it is relative. You know that is. Um, I'll wait till you sort of have the whole thing. But just understand that that's set back uh, behind the porch roof, you know, it's halfway back, let's say into the site. So just to understand where it sits, um, relative to the, to the street, um, in terms of, in terms of view, but yes, it's for the elevator. Okay. Um, Thanks. It's, it, it says that it goes like right up to the rooftop. Usually we drop it a little below that, but, um, and I just want to clarify, so on the south side, that's going to be clabbered now, painted white? Yes. 
And there's a historic photo of that for reference in the package as well. But yes, painted white. And then the, the only other concern I had, I guess it's on the east elevation, was that the brick, you know how the you can do brick and some, you can do, do brick and some looks good and some look awful. Um, that if the mortar is small, you know, small and um, you know, thin and sort of lime colored rather than bright white and thick. Um, and on, uh, the, on the A, on that <clears throat> double French door, if that could get a kick panel, that might look a little more historic. Um, but other than that, I, I really appreciate bringing back in you know, all those full details. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chair, Holly, when was the what is the date of the changes that are proposed to be replicated versus the pre-burn existing condition? Yeah, like what, like these show images of the veranda house and it shows these, you know, Greek revival elements, greater level of detailing versus what existed when the structure burned. What is the date of the, construction of what burned the facade that was probably it was a point of uh, 2000s mid 2000s there was a full renovation of the building uh when they added a lot of uh like eight uh handicap uh access so we there is a set at the building department in the file and i had it in one of our packets so i'd say it's in the early 2000s there was a full renovation of the building which involved an engineer and then um then before that looking at some of the old photos probably the 70s or 80s when they removed all the ornamentation is that what you're looking yeah, for that's what I'm trying to figure yeah, probably out. like the looking at the old photos and travel pictures in the nha it looks like 70s or 80s okay thank you yeah. Um, I think my concerns are principally with respect to uh, areas where the mass of the, the structure is being changed. Um, and that's uh, fourth, really height wise, fifth floor balcony on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think I would focus on the. Bear with me a second. Here. And may I just point out the that balcony, the balustrade that you see on the roof up there is that's a mechanical area for condensers and things like that. And so the intent there was to have something that would shield any equipment that might be up there next mm -hmm. to where the elevator over uh, machine room is. Okay. So, so just so you understand why that's there, it's not a guest balcony, but a, a mechanical space. Um, we're trying to shield it as we can. So it's Thank purely you. service oriented? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know how we would restrict that, but I think that that would be appropriate. Um, and is it enclosed, the, the balustrade, is that actually enclosed with a false facade? No, that's an open, we're currently proposing that as an open stick balustrade um, with, so the equipment would be behind it. So. Uh, but hopefully close enough pickets that were, you know, shielding with any whatever equipment might be back there. Yeah, it's pretty uh, high up there. I was just curious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I would focus on the north elevation then. If we can bring that up. There you go, Steve. Okay. Can we get the existing in on the, can we close off the window or make the uh, page just a little smaller? Yeah. So I'd like to get some clarification on, oh, uh, no, zoom out a little bit so we can see them both. So the, there's a major change on this elevation with respect to the primary structure, um, mm -hmm. the expansion uh, left to right. And it changes a lot of the character of what existed. I'd like to get some explanation on that. And it's also an expansion of the uh, second and third floor or fourth, third and fourth floor 
if you will, one, two, you know, I guess it's the second and third floor deck space. Yeah. Can you so to sure. So the primary reason for when we brought the exterior stair interior to the building, obviously we wanted to maintain the number of guest rooms and the amenity that existed uh, previously, but to create a two safe in interior compliant stairways, they took up more space than obviously uh, what was there originally. So the footprint in this location, you know, we, we pushed things around a little bit to make certain we could get the rooms we wanted and get both that we had plus both stairs in. And so that required a slight adjustment to the footprint in a couple of locations, this being one of them. And then the, as I mentioned, the, the verandas themselves, the porches themselves in this location, if you, if you go to the east elevation, you can see we just extended the veranda, the porches across to be able to capture the guest rooms that will be along that side because there is a stair along, as you can see on the left-hand side, an exterior stair that connects the verandas and brings you down to grade. And we wanted the guest rooms on that end to be able to access to the porches and those stairways as well. Um, and so that was why we extended the porches over and also why the footprint in that location uh, was a little bit wider. Is that helpful? That's helpful information. And I guess the other question I have is, just trying to orient myself on this. So the north elevation, to, uh, on the north elevation to the leftmost side of the page, that is um, the elevation as you round the corner to the left is what faces down the hill, correct? East, east, east goes down. East, this one. Yeah. That one. Oh, okay. That's okay. So on the east elevation, thank you, because I just want to look yes. at this. On the east elevation, um, as viewed from the north, do does the uh, second and third floor decks get any? Or do they become any deeper, other than to connect to the mass that you've modified? No, they're the same depth off the face of the building. They just extended to the north to capture that the mass and to the, the right. Gotcha. Just to make the connection. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Those are the questions I wanted to have answered. Now, um, with respect to those changes, it's. I don't believe there's any way, having stood in this building after it was burning, after it burned, that there's any way to see um, the actual north face of it. You will see it from the east, obviously, a little bit, but it's not going to be very apparent difference. Um, okay. Those are really my comments. Um, I do, well, one more. I do appreciate a little bit more the less normalized. Uh, fenestration pattern uh, that existed, but that's it from the 1970s build, but that went more with the informal uh, brackets and uh, trim package and so on and so forth. I think if you were to carry that forward to this more historic formalized version, it would look very odd. So um, I don't have a concern with it, but I did want to recognize the change. Okay, great. Stephen, thank you. Diane, are you ready? Yep. Okay, great. I, uh, one of the things that catches my eye on the, on the old one and the new one of the, I think they were very attractive on the old one, there's little brackets underneath mm. the poles, posts on each, uh, on the deck. They look up here that you've gotten a more like barns and the ones that they had fit, fit in with the with the everything that was there. I don't know if they could be done again, but I would like to see them if they could. I think that the I don't know, Steve brought it up and I had the same opinion that I would like, I don't know what you could do, but like to see something with that fourth floor dormer because 
um, to put it on that side and everything. I don't know if you can disguise it, but I think it should. It destroys the roof line of the of the building, which was there, which was charming as it ended up there. Um, I think that the north elevation is perhaps unnecessarily severe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm so used to the the old one that it's hard to accept the new one. But in the old one, it had much more lively thing. If you look at it, even with the stairs coming down, which is not what I usually like, but they give them some design and, and artistic connection to the windows and the floors rather than just windows and those things. I'd like to see it. If any part of it can be sort of brought back and make it more interesting than than that, it's such you the hard north is harder to see, but you're going to see it from any direction that you come in, and uh, you've done a very good job copying most of them. And these are just smaller things, but. They are what people look for as, as they drive by. So that's, for the moment, that's about what I have to say. I'm sure we'll all have more to say as it goes along. Okay. Diane, thank you. I think that's you, Jesse. Um, yeah, that, that um, starting on the north elevation, that uh, fifth floor, uh, the utility balcony, for lack of a better explanation. Um, I'm just a little confused. I'm, you know, I, all, what I'm just trying to do is just try to match them back to what it once was. It's a beautiful design. Um, but when you look at the existing drawing, you see how the roof goes across and squares up with the end of the house. And this has a low pitch. And then you try, I try to, it's more of a question than a, than at this point, but how does, does this the the flat roof part here? Does it, is that depth change different than the existing? No, the depth's in the same location. If you go to the um, the west elevation, as you can see, right? Yeah. So, okay, so that that piece you're talking about is way down that long farmer's porch. It's in the back. So it's the same footprint. So how come I'm not seeing that roof? because we added that elevator egress staircase bump out. And right. so that's, the original design had a big box up there and a, yeah, we eliminated said, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> All right. Um, There's back. And, back. and then we didn't want to do a, a shingled railing because then it looks like a box. So that's why the spindled railing looks more like a, mm -hmm. some sort of roof walk thing. So, um... I guess on that, again, on this baluster, maybe if, if you carried that shingles all the way to the end, that would look uh, better. Or if that wouldn't look better, uh, maybe matching those balusters with the existing, you know, the, the decorative balusters. Um, just a couple suggestions and thoughts on the north elevation. Now, is it, to, is it my eye or is the, the main mass uh, a little wider than the existing. Like, what's the measurement of the I can, main mass versus the existing versus the new? Are you? Yeah, Douglas, sorry. you answer that. No, I, are you? Sorry, are we speaking about the um, this elevation that's on screen right now, the west? No, the the, the uh, I'm sorry, the um, south elevation. South. Yes. The, the so in. Window, yep. That mass. The. Primary out street out south elevation, yes. Mm -hmm. So that mass is slightly wider again because of the adjustments we had to make to the interior, both stairs, corridor widths, etc. We had to make uh, the mass a little bit wider. We retain the roof pitch um, to keep the general proportion as close to the same as we could, but there are just certain dimensions we 
had that we were constrained by. So it is a little bit wider, yes. Do you know what how much wider it is? Um, I Kara, do you recall how much wider it is? Yeah, it's about two feet. It's not not very much. Two feet. Two feet. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's that's significant. Good I on mean, Jesse. I mean, yeah. I'm just you're, I understand that your your interior design is driving the exterior of the new code and and it is hard to pick up on that two feet, but just to consider thinking about harrowing back to the original building, that is the main silhouette of the of the of the building is that main mass and it's two feet wide. I could tell you how to make that any different. I, I will I will yeah there's no question it's it's a little wider. I will I will share and I think if you study the plans you'll see I don't we tried to squeeze every inch out of that width as we could. Um, so we understand the, of course, the intent and the goal, and we tried to adhere to that as closely as possible, for sure. And then on the west elevation, I understand that's an elevator shaft, and, it's, um, and that's why there's no church demonstration there. Um, looking at the existing, I mean, the previous existing. Um, I mean, it, look, it looks fine. Well, there's not much you can do about that. I thought about one of those shingle windows or something like that to make it look like there was once a window there, but I don't. I don't think that's necessary or any better. I'll also just point out in that location, the adjacent building, it's around, I don't know, five feet away, six feet, I don't know how far that is, maybe a little more, but it's very difficult to see that elevation in this, from this perspective <laughs> in reality, but uh, understood. Okay. Uh, the uh, elevation. North elevation, I think that's a, a moving those stairs, it's a huge improvement. Uh, I get it. I, I mean, um, all these balusters compared to the existing or previous is a lot. Um, I, I guess there's nothing you can really do about that. With needing, with, by removing those stairs, you need to get access to those apartments. Uh, and lastly, on that east side, the brick wall where you've got a large brick. Uh, space there. If there's any way we could maybe add another B window, if not, if you've got some... There's some grading issues there that goes to the Chapman House in front, so that's like an unknown area right yet, that what you're pointing at. Okay, so I'm not going to see it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's where that, the original building had a piece that was on a 45. This building used to be attached to the Chapman House at one time and that was all removed and what was oh, like, yeah so that, that thing that there is, yeah. yeah so and then there's like a lot of elevation change yeah. there all right that's it okay Thank well you. i was going to complain about the west elevation until they said and i i kind of saw some document that that wore this out and that's that they the, the adjacent building is very very close so we're not going to be seeing that at any distance to be able to tell whether that's under front under fenestrated. So I would just go along with the comments that have been made, but uh, Mr. Chair, uh, well done. Yes, Holly. Um, I just wanted to point out a lot of the stuff that you said specifically about that wall. That was a question that I had, but again, that elevator shaft and really trying to merge the historic silhouette of that structure as well as life safety mechanisms that they're trying to put into to place. Um, those were kind of, going in that but i also wanted to let you know that you do have some hands from the public raise oh. for questions yeah so um members of the public if you want to speak make sure to unmute and announce your name and address for the record uh yeah hi my name is kevin davidson i live at uh four step lane across okay. the grand house i'm one of the abutters uh mr chair just by way of clarification if i could to to get a uh a sense of uh, if there's been, lack of a better word, a, a footprint, footprint creep. Uh, I think 
that two feet increase in width, I guess I have a question for the architect. What effect will that have on the setbacks on basically uh, the, the north side, which I think is five step lane, and the northwest side, which I think is 61 Center Street? It was pretty narrow to begin with. Uh, as I recall, it was somewhere between four to six feet. Uh, so another two feet creep out there is, in my mind anyway, material. Sure, I can speak to that if that's okay. Um, Please do. Just, yeah, just so you understand, the only uh, expansion to the, um, the, the footprint on, let's see, when looking from the south elevation, the two feet we were referring to was only to the east. So there was mm -hmm. no expansion to the west. Uh, there was no expansion to the north side. We held the corner of the building in the uh, north west corner and we're within the construction setbacks on the northeast corner again uh the there was a lower level there that stuck out to that point originally so the only uh the two feet expansion we were referring to was towards the lawn to the east going sort of down the hill if you will the west hand side we held where it was and the north hand the north end side we held where it was originally is that helpful uh yes thank you and uh Again, by way of clarification, on the northwest corner, there was an exterior stairway there. Now, Correct. from what I understand, that's gone. That okay. is. Okay. Um, so there has that is would be additional uh, setback space then. Yeah, we did not. We removed that stair, and we did not sort of step back into the space that that stair occupied. We honored that, meaning we removed the stair and we left the facade of the building where it was in that location. I yeah, see. That was Yes. Sense. Okay. Yeah. Great. Now, uh, so again, if I just is by way of clarification, so I understand, uh, you, you you put you made an internal stairway. Um, in order to accommodate the rooms, you had to kick it out on the east a bit, and also right. it increased the egress. Uh, was that was that necessitated by code that additional space for egress? Yes, and typically you need for a building like this, you need two interior means protected means of egress, right? Rated stairways that you can get people out. Okay. And and I as I recall, prior to the fire, there were 18 rooms there. Would there still be 18 rooms? I will let I believe there were 19 care of remind me, I believe there were 19 rooms and there are still 19 rooms. So 19. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, great. Um lastly, the 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 dormer on the fourth or third and a half or Yep. Depending upon where you count from floor, the new that's that's a new uh, piece was consideration given um, to whether it would impede the views from five step and 61 center. Well, um, OK, I don't know where five uh, step is. folks, I should have said this at the outset. I would like to have any of the comments raised by the public to uh, basically be in line with what this board it has purview over and that is visibility from any publicly traveled way yes i understand thank you okay very good um was that the extent of your question sir uh yes it was thank you very good uh is there someone else who would like to speak yes this is susan renzulli i um live at well i own five a step lane but it was destroyed by the veranda house fire it's right mm -hmm. next door to it mm -hmm. um and it, kevin and, and ask quite a few of the questions that I have, but I'd like to talk about, for one thing, the, the on the on the street view, so the south elevation, um, the door that's going to be put over to the le far left of the building, and then I thought I understood him to say that that will be also an elevator or, or a fire stairwell going up the inside of the building on the front of the building. So is that door going to be a reception door or what's it going to lead into? Because it does change the look of the front of the building. That's a great question. And I believe she's referring to the south elevation, if we can. Yes, I'm sorry, track. south. Okay. So that was a, um, I think that's the north. Yes. Um, but so yes, that door um, was, there was a door originally, as, as you can see in the ele elevation in the upper right, 
that was in the first bay underneath the, the porch uh, there. Mm -hmm. And one of the comments from when we were reviewing this with staff was that, that there was you know, some nice articulation in that door and that we, because we had a door that was serving our fire stair um, under the, our porch, um, that we replicate that trim there since we weren't gonna have an entry door in that location any longer because that location uh, is also one of the fire stairs. So one fire stair is in that corner and the other fire stair is over by the elevator. Um, and so we, we replicated the trim at the door that's coming out underneath the porch. That is not the entrance into the, the inn. There is a door to the right. If you look on the west elevation, you can see there's another door uh, underneath the porch that leads into the upper lobby of the inn. Um, but it's a, it's a much smaller door. That's not the primary entrance, but in any case, I, does that answer your question? It, it does. And also I felt like we never had access to these elevations prior to this evening. So I'm just trying to, there's a lot that I'm processing that, uh, that view there. It feels like the smaller setback back portion of it is encroaching forward on, I'm sorry, the, the view that we were just on, on the East side, there was right. that smaller little L back behind it. It mm -hmm. feels like that's gotten a lot more imposing and it feels like if it just feels like there are a lot more windows. I know there's a lot more um, yeah. um, porch, but on the east side. Yep, on the east elevation. Yeah. <coughs> so you're the right hand, the right hand gable of the east elevation. Um, as was discussed earlier, yes, that did that push forward towards the lawn slightly as well as a result of the, the space requirements in the interior for the stair and the hallways and things like that that we needed. So it did move forward. I think the extension of the veranda porches across to that elevation, um, you know, also a change. Right. So. And then as far as setbacks, am I to understand that the, your, the veranda house is intending to build right back on the street where they were and right back on the west side and as far back onto the north side as they were. Correct. So there's, okay, so it's only like five feet from my house, but they're gonna stay there. Correct. Okay. I have a problem with that. That's a planning board matter. It is. Yeah, so that's that's for planning board or ZBA? Well, if this goes to either, that's where it would be appropriate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if we consider things we can't appropriately consider, it's grounds if this were taken to appeal to taint the outcome. That's why I don't like to hear it. Not yeah. that not we're concerned or sympathetic, but it can queer the results. So out of deference to the neighbor, uh, you are you folks are planning on heading to the ZBA or the planning board on this, correct? Yes. Correct, yes. Okay. Yeah, thought so. Okay, um, and, and I'll take up this. If I can clarify. Yeah, please do, Arthur. Uh, under the Nantucket zoning bylaw, uh, in the event of a disaster, uh, we are entitled to rebuild within two years following the uh, oh okay uh, following the uh, uh, event that has caused the demolition of the structure, and uh, we have met with the planning staff uh, and and uh, building commissioner. And uh, unless we are going to be dealing with any new uh, nonconformities, mm -hmm. we do not need zoning relief in order to oh, proceed with okay. this application. And in fact, uh, setbacks are not being increased. I mean, the, we're not moving closer into any setbacks than we now are to the extent there are changes. We're moving farther away, as for example, by the removal of that uh, uh, exterior staircase. So uh, as things stand, uh, there's nothing that's going to require zoning relief for this project. Okay, thank you for clarifying, Martha. Um, so there's nothing to worry about putting, putting this through? No, uh, well, us, um, no. Because 
their intent is not to exacerbate the nonconformity of the building to the current grandfathered nonconformity. Um, yeah, I'd love a motion. Okay, so I'll make a motion for minor revisions to include a roof plan that shows the uh, service deck area. I don't have it in my plans. It only does the third floor. It doesn't show a roof plan. It'd also be really nice for us to have this yeah. stuff that we are nice reviewing. Now. It's okay, Holly. Yeah. 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 Let's, yeah. let's just have it. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. And is it labeled? Is the mechanical equipment labeled? No, it's not. Just... Oh, okay. They're to the right. Okay, thank you. But there, and there is potential to downsize that, correct? Yes, I will clear, may I clarify? Yeah, go ahead. So the, that flat roof area that is shown there for the mechanical equipment will be sized to this mechanical equipment. We ultimately need that system is being designed at the moment and it's very likely it's less space than is shown there. So we will reduce any of the flat roof space uh, there that we can when the final mechanical equipment is chosen. That would be great. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank so you. your motion was for, for minor revisions? Yeah. Okay, that and is Stephen's motion. All those in favor of uh, Stephen's motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you all very much. Five minute break. Yeah, five yeah. minute break, love that. Thank you. It's actually a nice looking truck. It's great. It's really, it's beautiful.
Uh -huh. You're not going to go anywhere. All right, Mr. Chair, we're unmuted. Okay. We're back in back in action. Um, let's see. Why did we pass the Brenda House? I can't remember. What did we hold it for? Well, Our that's revision. a funny thing. I mean, minor revisions, and I think the only real substantive comment that were made were regarding the dormer. Yeah, you know. And so things, we're talking minor. Yeah, and the little we should, brackets you know, we holding up. Sorry, it was Those a little comfort. brackets holding up the thing. The old ones is so pretty. It made it so. They fit right in with the. the yeah, that's well, their plan is to do that. Do we want to reopen it and approve it? We could. I mean, if you want, but but I that's why I was asking you what were the revisions because I, I only made it because I wasn't certain that there was enough consensus to pass it. But I, I have no concern. I actually think there could be. Do we want to? What, what was yeah, that? Terry. How do we do that? Are you with us or are you having you, dinner? Yeah, I'm with you. I just had to unmute. <laughs> you would make a motion to reopen. We're within the same meeting. No action has been taken, so you can do that. And then you make the motion to approve with whatever changes you wish. I'd be good with that. Okay, so I'll make a motion to reopen. Okay, so on the motion to reopen, same board, including Jesse, on the motion to reopen, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, Stephen. Uh, motion to approve. Um, uh, let's have a just brief discussion. Do we feel that we, as a, is there a consensus that, um, to the extent possible, that third, uh, the roof deck railing, be um, minimized as much as possible? That's yes. visible. Uh, yes. I, I can. I think also because it's so far back from the road. That's a I, mitigating factor. And, it, and, and the, my objection to it going right to the top of the roof, there's a chimney there to distract it if you could ever see it. But you'd have to be on a pogo stick, mm -hmm. to jumping mm -hmm. up and down to see the top of that roof. It's so steep there. Right. No, I'm just talking about the extent of that railing stick. Don't out. you think when he listened so, to us, he <clears> got <throat> sort of the ideas of yeah. what we'd like to see? So. So I'll make a motion to approve through staff with the um, roof level deck railing being minimized as much as possible. Yeah. And we could do that, make it at Cedar Natural Weather. Pardon me? We could make it by Cedar Natural Weather, not paint paint that railing. What color is the roof? It would, or it, I don't know. It's on the application. Um, I just think if you minimize it, the color scheme you did is yeah. Fine. I don't I don't care if it's. White. I think it should be white though because yeah, the it'll trim be white. Is all white. Okay. No, like thanks. Bro. Okay, no thanks. Okay, that's my motion. Okay, all those in favor of Stephen's motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? There you go. All right, so you got it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Um, all thanks, right, Abby. is Jason around sure. to represent our Shelter Seven projects, which are next? I am here. Oh, you are. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> so your projects, the three that you have on New Jersey Ave, that will be uh, Connie. Okay. In addition to the regular members that are here. All right. Okay. Let's start with the main house. Yeah. Let's go to the main house, even though the shed is listed as first. Hmm. What? Well, uh, yeah, I, I got it's, this it's mixed up a so lot. It's not in the email. Okay, Jason. Main house. Uh, main house. To tell us? Uh, this is an addition mainly to uh, um, to the current house that's there now. Um, yeah. 
there's a, it's a small one story structure. The addition will be like a story and a half structure um, mm -hmm. where they gable forward um, to the main, to the current, the current shed structure that's there. Um, I tried to maintain the roof kind of look from the New Jersey Ave side and uh, that bump out that's facing the ocean on the south side. Um, and that's about it for for now. <laughs> okay, was this um, automatic advisory? Mr. Chair, Yes. you have staff comments. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So for the record, this existing structure on the lot is a circa 1938 um, kind of capish st structure. Uh, there is an old HTC survey on file. Um, this is uh, um, basically my comments are as follows. What is the size of the existing contributing house versus the proposed? Um, it's not clear on at least the site plan to decipher. Uh, the existing is a one-story Cape style dwelling with a two-story gable. Um, addition is inappropriate and changes the character of the seasonal Matiket cottage. The site is being um, also changed for access wise um, from New Jersey Ave to Ames Ave, although I believe the site plan indicated it as um, the other side, but I believe that's Ames based on the GIS. Uh, Belgian block apron at Smith's Point area is not appropriate for an apron, um, I, and I question on whether or not an apron is um, required off of Ames, um, but I'm, I'm not quite sure what that material is of, of Ames, if it's macadam um, or not. Um, my question also is what is the, the driveway um, material? It was not clear on the site plan. Uh, stepping stones, another formal um, <clears throat> and not appropriate. On the south, the six um, light, three panel French doors. I think I got that right. Uh, not appropriate and very modern. Um, removing the shed above the eave and adding windows eliminates that entrance. The proposed six light door is also not appropriate to modern. Um, the addition should be shorter and simpler um, in height. The second story deck is very large and non conforming to building with Nantucket in mind. Two over twos are not appropriate. They should stay six over six. On the west, the exterior chimney is not appropriate. And the um, a windows are very uh, large for that um, elevation. Uh, on the north, uh, changing this uh, to the front of the structure or facade is not appropriate. The door is um, also not appropriate. Adding ganged windows introduces a new feature to this dwelling and the six light door is not appropriate on the north and the east. On the east, the six light door on the second floor uh, with the balcony deck is also not appropriate. Overall, the orientation to the street should stay um, with a shorter addition, no balconies, um, six over six windows, um, and no six light doors. The proposal um, uh, will actually hinder, in my opinion, um, its contributing status. So those are my comments, Mr. Chair, for your Very consideration. Good. Thank Holly, you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody want to start in on this one? No, this is such a long It is. Um, yeah. Well, I could start, I could make a stand. Go for it, Abby. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I think it's kind of lost all its charm, um, but I, I don't think it's, I think the proposed, I mean, it's not bad, but you starting with a sort of a low building with a lot of character, very maticate, um, and you've got you've got a broke back roof. Um, now you have a, you know, it's not it's only twenty feet tall, but it's got flush dormers and you know um, balconies and decks, and it's a totally it's a total different animal. Um, I'd like to see this designed a little bit more in keeping with with its um, with the original structure. So that's just a. It's okay, a, sounds a good. Who's next? Um, Did he mention that there was, I don't know if I got the right one, are the two over two windows or? 
In the existing or proposed? It says existing. Existing is six over six. And and he's proposing two over twos. That was a comment yeah. from. And Holly. is he proposing a, a must be a porch on the second floor out? Yes. Over that weird thing. I, uh, it's. I believe there are two over twos, by the way, on the, on the structure. So. Well, that's possible, yeah, I see. Jason. Well, the, yeah, there are a couple. That, yeah, I'm you're getting right. Getting this on the west elevation, existing demo, and then what's there? Um, There's more six over six, however. I do see that. Yeah. Okay. I. I would like to see it more campy than it is. Uh, on New Jersey, out there in the. On the other side of the bridge, I would like to see it that way instead of the long dormer and all that stuff. So that's just a beginning comment. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, who's next? <clears throat> I guess it's me. Well, or, me. or Connie. Or Connie, either one. Or yourself, Connie. Go ahead, Ken. I don't really have much else to add. I just think it's kind of looking inappropriately <coughs> compared to what was there. Okay, thank you, Stephen. I'll go by opining on a different subject that relates to that, if I may. If you would indulge me, I would. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a great example of why the HTC should, as a straw concept, uh, i.e., discussion point, bring up an article <laughs> that um, you are rewarded with additional ground coverage <clears throat> by going with a one story structure. This second story of this structure could be on the ground. It would be swallowed up by the expanse of the lot. It would be so much more appropriate. And while the HTC isn't, you know, here to approve things that help people get the most square footage out of their property, the price points on the island kind of dictate that as a kind of functional matter. I'm not suggesting that, I'm just suggesting this is a straw concept. Um, I agree with uh, my fellow commissioners, uh, Jason, the structure, the second story structure. Um, it's, it's too tall and too boxy for this cottage, this kind of rambling one story, almost shack style cottage. And, um, it, I just think that that's something you're going to have to try and overcome. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thanks, Stephen. Yeah. Um, the two story plus the sort of loss of the funkiness of the cottage, which is very contextual out there. You know, Madiket has a very, very uh, <clears throat> unique, particularly this section, um, you know, very unique sort of uh, vernacular, like very charming disorder to the building. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's stuff out there that I look at and I love that would never be approved by this board. I can tell you that. The, the one that has like the little bridge on the third floor going from one tower to the other. Love that one. Um, so I'd love to see more of that back. And to Stephen's point, uh, the this two story or story and a half piece really kind of jumps out. Um, leaps away from the rest of the structure. So, you know, more randomness, I guess, would be my hope. Yeah. Um, should we move for some revisions? Yeah. Yes. yeah, so moved. Okay, so Stephen has made a motion to hold for some revisions on, on that motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so should we move forward? It looks like on the garage, you're just changing windows. Is that right, Jason? Um, yeah, there is a dormer, I believe we've added. Uh, well, why don't we go there for just a moment and see what's going on.
Yeah, they Same board. Oops. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Holly. Uh, actually, Jason, do you have anything you want to say on this structure before I send it to Holly? No, I, I mean, it's we made some fenestration changes, really, and um, keeping it otherwise in the same place. That's okay. it. And there's a couple of warts that were kind of just utility sheds that would come off. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, Holly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So this uh, garage is the same vintage as the main home, uh, circa 1938, and there is also an HDC survey on file. Uh, it would be really helpful to have photos of the existing garage. I note that the photos included in the application are actually more of the main, um, the structure that you just reviewed. Um, the dormer um, that's proposed doesn't seem to comply with building with Nantucket and mine. I would take a look at that. Uh, the new windows that are proposed in the uh, elevations are very large. I would recommend to reduce mm -hmm. in scale. The nine light um, with the two panel door is appropriate. Thank you for providing that. However, the six light triple slider is not appropriate, although that will be, um, I guess, masked by uh, the existing garage door. Uh, I guess appreciate keeping that um, that feature there. Um, this garage obviously is con being converted to a um, <clears throat> second dwelling, uh, but I'm I'm concerned on what that's going to look like if that if those uh, excuse me if that triple um, door is kept. So um, fenestration should be changed. Uh, again, I would also recommend photos for this application and maybe even um, a view, uh, but hopefully mm -hmm. there's going to be some changes overall with the whole concept. So those are my comments, Mr. Chair. Thank Very you. Good. Thank you. Board members. Can I get a clarification through sure. Mr. Chair? Of course. Uh, Holly, did you, mention, did you mention a triple door? Yes. It's yeah. going behind the garage doors. Gotcha. I got you. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, she's sliding. Do we have a how tall it is? Well, it's existing, but uh, let's see. Uh, does it? It do, it doesn't actually say it on here. I couldn't find hmm. it. No. We're we're on the garage. <clears throat> we're on the garage. Yeah. Nine, and, New Jersey. Uh, yes. I don't want to see it. I don't see that the triple. Why don't you see the triple? Because it's behind the garage doors. <clears throat> it's behind those. Uh, I would oh. say I don't think that the dormer is appropriate mm -hmm. for the door. Okay. Is that it? <clears throat> yeah, if he keeps it simple and uh, the windows are all two over twos that I see. Mm -hmm. And I guess if the, what he's going to have is like sliders or whatever to pretend they're garage doors and that's going to cover the... Well, the garage doors would cover the... And I think they are sliding doors. You're correct. Yes. It looked like they were. Yeah. So I don't know what anybody else thinks of them. Okay. Well, let's okay. Let's take a look. Abby, you ready? Well, I I just um, when I first saw this, I I just it's it's iconic in its simplicity, and I think adding the the dormer over the the um, the the garage doors doesn't I I think that takes away again. I think just keep it simple. Um, mm -hmm. just, uh, this is the kind of stuff you don't want to get rid of. So mm. um, that's all. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, thanks, Mr. Chair. Uh, through you, uh, Jason, do you know what the por the uh, pitch of the roof is on the main house, uh, the entryway porch, a little shed? It looks more like a two and a half or a two twelve. I. <clears throat> it's in the picture there. <clears throat> 
If you don't know, you don't know. That's okay. I, I don't know. Something. Yeah. I, I'm trying to recollect it, but I just, it's not, you know. So my thoughts on this are um, simplify the garage doors, uh, maybe a wider batten, B groove rather, um, tongue and groove, B groove, our shiplap look. Um, slightly downsized the windows on the west. And the dormer, you know, for me, I want to see something that is shallower. And I know this is already a 312, but I'm thinking more like Sconset, small shack style. Um, they've got some flat roofs almost there. The front of that dormer, I think is, it. I know it's very simple. It's, it's two windows, some trim and shingles, but I almost would rather see it just be like a, a slightly smaller dormer with some solid painted material there. Again, Sconce comes to mind in the um, uh, Broad Street area. Um, it it kind of retains that funky uh, Madiket charm. Mm -hmm. And this just looks like a small dormer on a small structure that doesn't, isn't consistent with that nature or character. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Very good. Connie. Good. I don't really have anything else to add. I agree okay. with Stephen about the windows in that dormer. Yeah. So uh, not much to talk about here, but the windows on the west should go smaller. That was uh, Holly's comment. I totally agree with that. And the recommendation, either the dormer goes completely or yes, flatter and uh, a little bit more bohemian looking. Um, those are my comments. Uh, motion hold for revisions. Hold for revisions. That's the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And now we'll review your little shed for you. Okay. Holly. Jason, did you want to say anything about this one? Um, uh, no, this is just a simple, you know, conforming zoning shed. Yeah. Okay. Holly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, yes, a zoning shed. Um, my main comment is that fenestration should match the other structures on the lot. Uh, the proposed pitch is, is between a 712 and a 1212, which is okay per your guidelines. Um, but it's tall. It's 13 feet, two and three quarters. And the main dwelling on the lot, it's only about 16 feet tall. Mm -hmm. So it's, if, if you, you, you know, I would recommend to reduce the height um, and then change the windows to match whatever the fenestration is going to be on, on the main house, uh, hopefully six over six. So those are my comments. Thank you. Thank you six okay. Over. Everybody. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree completely with what Holly said. Mm -hmm. Vertical, it's, it's feeling vertical, um, getting that down, windows consistent, not a heck of a lot to say. <clears throat> and these doors on the um, previous structure, Jason. I'm sorry? These, this, this door, door style on the previous structure. The on the shed, yeah, on the on the dwelling, the the one with the dormer that had the garage the, had different style. The garage has the garage is yeah. Garage currently has like a uh, bo uh, bead board uh, door on the, up for the garage. Yeah, I guess what I'm just trying to say is um, these doors seem appropriate. I agree with okay. the comments about the height. These doors okay. seem appropriate, and I yeah. think that they could transfer to the other structure. Got you. I understood. Understood. Any more comments? So hold for minor revisions. Yeah, I think so. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Uh, all those in favor of Stephen's motion to hold for minor revisions, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Yep. Night. Uh, Ethan at Wingspread. Garage. Mr. I'm going to set off 
the no. next two. Okay. <laughs> Sounds fine. Give our ultimates a chance. Mm -hmm. It'll be all right. Don't worry. They're in good hands. It's a garage second dwelling. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There should be a photograph from the street showing that in the woods. And everything matches the house. That's the view. So it's behind up the hill. The driver goes up a hill, down around the back. So it's behind all that. Yeah. <laughs> and if you zoom in, it's got the height on there too. It's like, I'll tell you. Yeah. 22 feet. There you go. Comments from the board. I think it's um, attractive little garage, guest house. Um, I don't think you can see it much, anyways. No. Mm -mm. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Connie. I agree. No concerns. Okay. Thank you. Diane. I think it's okay. You can't see it anyway in wing spread. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a public street, I don't think. I think you're right, Diane. How about you, Abby? It's a um I'm like I'm looking at existing building. I'm looking at the main house, but yeah. is the garage right above it or yeah yeah okay he's only uh, showing the main house so you can see how it thank you next to thank you for that, that we know. always ask for that Such and then rarity. it confused me <laughs> but no i when no. you actually do it the way you're supposed to it gets us all like <laughs> what, what's going on around here yeah nothing no no concerns okay i think we can move this one i think it was to approve Submitted. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Diane. No worries. Right. Thank you. Well, Bye. Well, hold on. We haven't voted yet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you never know. On the plane. Yeah, it ain't over till it's over. Oh. Okay, so Diane has made a motion to approve it. Submitted all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Okay, bye. All right. Thanks. <laughs> and how about Joe Topham? Is he around? He may be on Zoom. Brenda is on Zoom. Is Brenda his? Uh... Okay. Okay. Thank Brenda, you. are you out there? She is on, huh? Yeah, she is. Okay. Let's wait another second. Brenda, you got to unmute if you can hear us. for representation yeah let's just let's let's pass over that one maybe she's having technical difficulties doug are you here for the next one yeah, yeah okay so now we're going to jump down to 169 yield point you're going to stay off of this one mm -hmm. okay okay so everybody except uh steven on yours okay. okay so we are doing a garage studio it's um fairly typical design it is adjacent to a fairly large house that's about 950 feet off of eel point road um if you go to uh sheet c 1.2 which i believe is page two on the uh, actually back one two. oh so yeah, it's back where the, the house is yeah yeah so that sheet to the right of that sheet shows you um, a view from the driveway. It shows you a view of the garage and guest house from Mill Point Road. And it shows you the main house from the end of Lavender Lane, those photos to the right. Zoom on those. Um, basically pointing out that you're not gonna be able to see this from anywhere. Oh. And even if we're visible, it's a but, so, acceptable design, I, I believe. Doug. Is the house already there? The house is there, yeah. Oh, okay. So we ain't seeing the house. No. 
from these photos. And it's a big house too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Comments from the board? No concerns. <clears throat> Thank you. Anybody else? I would say no concern either, just because you can't see it. You, you really can't. It's kind of amazing. All right. Thank you, Diane. Um, Connie? Same. No concerns. Good. Happy. <laughs> um, okay, I just found out where it was. It's not attached to the house. It's, it's close to the house, but it is not attached. It's wait, I can, it's not very close to the house. It's right here. So, so what's that? Oh, just the drive. Oh, that's the drop. Yeah. That's a the house is already built. And if you look at those port. photographs, like you can't even um, see the house. Okay. Let alone the okay, okay. garage. You good? Yes. Okay. Can we have a motion? Motion to approve. All right. There it is. A motion to approve is submitted. That's Diane. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Meantime, what was what was um, Joe's assistant's name? Brenda. She's in. She's in now. Brenda, are you there? I am, Mr. Chair. Oh, very Sorry good. about that. I lost no, my. That's okay. No problem. Uh, we're going to jump back to you. So we're at 17 Pine mm -hmm. Edition. <coughs> Excuse me. So this house is, um, we're planning on raising the ridge on the garage and on the main house, changing all the fenestrations to six over ones, um, adding a new front piece, um, new egress stairways, and a new front porch. And then I'm just here for comments. Right. Okay. Um, are there comments before a floor goes? I don't no. think so. No. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking. Um, is, is Brenda, are you there? Can I go? She's I am, Abby. You, you Hi, Brenda. Go. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, are there other um, mm. two-story buildings like this um, right next door or nearby? I, I don't see, you know, I don't yes, I believe know, so. know the area. Um, I mean, I do know the area because I used to play paddle all the time. Oh, okay. I know. Um, uh, uh, here you go. Like this is some context. I think there's this one shot. Oh yeah. Okay. So it says, yeah, that's been growing bigger up but, oh, over yeah, in that. I mean, area. there appears oh, to be house. some two story. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So I, I, I now re sort of remember the area. It does have um, other two story, I mean, buildings. So and the footprint doesn't change. It just gets a second floor and the garage gets- It doesn't expand except for the- It gets stairways, an egress stairway. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, I see. So it's it's like a co condo, like a one, two family home? Oh, could be. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's why you have all these stairs going to the second floor and so forth. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if those could be abbreviated in any way, but um, I, I, I'm, I think this is probably appropriate for the neighborhood. So I have no concerns. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Who's next? You got you got looks like two stairs coming down from the second story. Correct. And it's on the corner of Hinsdale and Pine Tree. Pine Tree. <laughs> right across from the tennis courts or paddle courts. On the existing south Bless elevation. Uh, Brendan, what do you, I didn't see, what are you proposing to do? 
with the building. So oh, he's proposing to, to raise the ridge. Um, and so he's added two unegresses on the front and the, um, the south elevation. Um, he's going to change the south elevation somewhat. Uh, uh, raising it up quite a bit. Because yeah. I would like to see Close, larger, yeah. Go ahead, Ray. larger windows on the south elevation. There, that whole right hand door, door on the thing, gable is one little window out there. Well, okay, so careful, Diane, because I think maybe you're looking at the existing. It just says existing. Okay, so the existing one, there oh, is so literally one tiny, yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha. the one underneath is is the change version. It has more windows, it's quite a bit larger, but it's got yeah. more windows, yeah. And then it's got that exterior stair and everything, yeah. I got the second one too. Let me get the other next elevation that shows that other staircase. Oh, and do and deck and everything. That would be the east elevation, Diane. Yeah. Uh, well, not sounding something or other saying, well, nobody will ever see it out there, but that's not true. People will see it, definitely. In the old days, it was one building on Hinsdale and you couldn't see it. <laughs> <coughs> so it's changed. I don't know, I'd go with it now, see what anybody else has to say. Okay. I think it's busy. I think the proposed east elevation is busy, but we've a lot of houses out there have got all sorts of complications and it needs a staircase if it's gonna get out of the second floor. So at the moment I would say I'm not picking out anything particularly bad. Okay. Thanks. By the way, the busy side, which is east, faces to its neighbor, which is fairly close by. So I don't think a lot of that stuff's going to be seen, or at least seen obliquely. Okay. Um, Jesse, are you ready over there? So, uh, yeah, um, so you know, I think the west elevation is great. Looks great. Uh, I wish I could say the rest for the back where all the stairs are. Mm. Um, and, you know, I can't figure out a way to get things any better, but it should be nice if someone could. Um, the stairways? Yeah, it just looks busy as hell. Mm, yeah. um, but it's in the back. And, uh, one, you know, I was trying to come up with a, some way, at least from the north elevation, when you're looking into the backyard to minimize looking at all those stairs mm -hmm. with some type of board fence or something but there's just the way the stairs work you, 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 it's kind of hard to do and, um so only a suggestion which is more on a penetration and this would be in a north elevation and it's probably an interior layout why this is this way in the first place is i'd like to see those two windows that are flanking both sides of that um balcony just a little further out mm -hmm. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. It's a fabulous idea. Is that it, Jesse? Yeah. All right. Connie. Um, on the east elevation, mm -hmm. those two small windows, what are they flanking? I, what does that say? Uh, it says existing oil tank, I think. Oh, is that maybe their... It's an above ground yeah. oil tank. Yeah. Okay. yeah and those, Connie, those windows are existing from the garage. Oh, <laughs> right. You haven't bubbled those. That's right. Uh, oh, okay. From the garage. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Hi, Brenda. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Connie. Um, aside from Jesse's comment on the north elevation, which I think is really great because the north elevation will certainly be visible <clears throat> from Hinsdale, um, you know, sp splaying those uh, L windows further apart so that we get rid of some of that shingle space there. I think it's fine. 
you know, approvable back there. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion uh, on, on for that north elevation on the second floor to have it centered under the first floor window and then equally spaced for the one that's on the right hand side of the French doors. Yeah, so to be if, clear, if can... what, what um, Abby is suggesting is taking the L window that's to the left of the French doors and moving it so that it's in line with the A window on the first floor and then taking that spacing and doing the same thing with the L window to the right of the French doors on the second floor, all on the north elevation. And that's your motion? Uh, and that's yes. A through staff type deal? Yeah, it is. Very good. Okay, so that's uh, that's Abby's motion. All those in favor of Abby's motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Now we're to Ben Norman at 5 North Beach. Stephen, you tell me when you're coming back. You're going to be out for a while? Okay. Yeah. You got to come back because Lisa's going to be up voluntarily. <clears throat> so, um, again, do we have to move off demo first and then look at the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, of course, we should, we, we should review the move off demo, which is the first on the list. Hi, Ben. How are you? Good. How's it going? Okay, so where am I? Five North Beach. There you are. Demo. Tell us about the demo. Tell us about this building you want to move off. Yep. So um, Five North Beach Street. This is um, mm. maybe two properties up from Epernay and that kind of storefront mm -hmm. section there very very tight uh area yeah uh there's an ex there's the existing cottage so um the, the the piece you're seeing right in front of you is a 2017 addition that was built onto a 1930s cottage so that much further back bit is a 1930s cottage um <clears throat> records show that in the 90s probably in the no name storm that uh cottage flooded was repaired uh, and then in 2017 with that addition um, the cottage was completely renovated um, so the interior is very modern uh, the addition uh, meets floodplain or did it in 2017 uh, but the existing cottage was never lifted so it's very low to the ground uh, so there's a funny kind of interior step between the two um, our proposal is to move it off or demolish it um, I've reached out to Housing Nantucket uh, and Crespo has declined this building, uh, thinking it wasn't uh, financially um, advantageous of their operation to try to sell it. Uh, I talked to uh, Tucker Holland, uh, uh, the local, uh, the, as you guys know, um, mm -hmm. your, your guy. Uh, he was actually very interested in it, and he said that it may actually fit into a uh, housing program that they're working on, but he wasn't able to give me any more details. And that was about a month and a half ago and I have not heard back from him. Um, I've had many families go through it. Uh, we have one very interested person or two potentially. Um, I did meet with Mike Day there uh, about it, uh, Atlantic Aeolus house mover. Uh, mm -hmm. He said that the moving of it is, um, shouldn't be an issue. Um, the existing part would have, to, or the 1930s cottage would have to be cut from the addition 2017 edition, but that's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, so, um, you know, the existing 1930s cottage is a great one bedroom with a loft, ready to go little cottage. So we're, we're very much hoping that somebody comes along and, and finds a great home for this. Um, and we, we have interest now, but I'm, as this is a public setting, we want to hear from more people. If you guys are interested in letting it see it go, um, you know, we haven't had anybody fully on board yet. So we're still looking for the right taker or any taker. Uh, and we're hoping to get it moved in the fall. So there's so plenty of time. I want to make sure I'm reviewing this properly because you have Sandcastle's drawings here. Yep. And the front half, the newer half is the part that's bubbled, but you want to move demo the whole thing. The whole thing. 
Yep, that's their plans. I just because it would those. really be yep. better suited as two separate things rather than one combined thing. Yeah, it's interesting. We have one person who's interested to take one part and use it as a freestanding cottage, and then the modern part to stick on to their existing house as a bedroom wing. So it's, 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 there's good use to this building. Okay. Um, and this, the, the, we need the person to come forward and kind of commit. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Holly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so, yes, for the record, there is an HDC survey on file from. Um, this does indicate that it's uh, circa 1930s, understanding it's had a renovation back in 2017 by Sand Sandcastle Construction, um, but it is a contributing structure. Um, this should not be demolished. Um, so I'm glad to hear that there's, there's um, work underway to get a mover for it, buyer, if you, or, or taker, if you will. Um, and, but either way, this is a contributing structure within, within the boundaries of our old historic district. Um, so it's kind of like right around, right off the, the edge of the uh, 55 boundary. But I do believe that um, more information rather than just the, the old HDC survey should be provided. Um, not only that, but um, you know, aerials, sandborn maps, um, actual as built would be nice, um, not just the plans that were provided for the 2017 um, edition. So that would be um, great to have. Um, other than that, again, um, please don't demolish. Those are my comments, Mr. Uh, Chair. Thank you. Please don't demolish. Okay. Thanks, Holly. All right, board members. Ray. Tell me. Oh, oh, sorry, Mickey. Go. That's fine. Um, so similar to Holly's, we're, we think this is a this is a contributing structure built in 1930, and we feel that it should be um, not demolished. Move off is reasonable, but not demolished. Thanks. Thank you. All right. I'll go if you want. Yeah, sure. I wanted to ask Ben, to think. ben talking about moving a house, and somebody buying it or whatever, moving it. It would it be at any way possible ever to say, look, if you take this house to the dump, it's going to cost you hundred thousand dollars to do so. If you split the move with somebody, it would cost each one of you fifty thousand dollars. Wouldn't it be cheaper to maybe propose that sometimes? Anyway, it's just an idea that I've had in mind for a long time to see them go but no, and diane um you know obviously my clients are giving the house away right yeah. uh, housing and talk would sell it which is an unusual thing but right no um, but i was just thinking in general and yeah no it cost maybe you know not that we're going to throw not that anybody wants to throw it in the dump but this building would probably cost you twenty five thousand in dump fees to throw yeah. away and demolish it so there is a it's it's better to give them away anyway right so maybe we could that, break people's necks mm -hmm. a little bit to get them to split sure. the price so so much wouldn't be seen. The only mm. thing I have a thing is the north elevation. Um, everything else around the house is fairly simple and good and and north of. <laughs> Are you talking about the house or the? Is she done? Yeah, you know, we're, 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 we're just on the demo. Move. Demo. Yeah. Right oh, now. just on the demo. Yeah. Move. Well, I'm against it then. Okay uh abby yeah i'd be happy if it found a home okay connie i actually snooped around there sunday looking uh, at the house it's adorable and i would hope that somebody would take it also okay jesse um i i could approve a move off okay i'm going to go one step further to say that the new part in the front I actually don't mind if it gets demoed. Mm. The part that's oh. bubbled on the sandcastle plans, because that that's dating from 2017. When? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, and to try and move this in one piece is going to be absolutely impossible. So, uh, you know, if if whoever wants to take it wants to scrap the front piece and grab the back, I'd be totally fine with that. So, cause should we approve uh, some kind of a move off? It sounds like. Yeah. Some kind of a move. Is that, is that, uh, 
Thank yes, you, I mean, that, I, I, we're all right with that. Yeah. I, I, you want me to make that motion? Sure. Uh, approve, uh, um, move off for the 1930s portion. <coughs> Which would assume that the demo of the newer portion is acceptable to the board? Yeah, I mean, hopefully it goes with it, but it's <coughs> well, I mean, thirties portion. But, yeah. Okay. Who's that? Okay, so that is Jesse's motion. All those in favor of Jesse's motion, say aye. 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 Any oh, opposed? No. Okay, let's see what you got instead. Right. So uh, we're building a new house now on this location. Again, it's it's a pretty tight area in there. It's, it's um, you know the houses are, are definitely built up very <laughs> tight. So it's a very narrow, mm. long and narrow lot. Right. Um, there might be. So the proposal is a, is a new a new structure, uh, wood roof, obviously natural cedar shingles, uh, natural siding, uh, natural trim, black sash. Uh, the idea is that it's a little bit subdued in that location. It is a pretty intensive streetscape there, so that the natural colors to kind of let it blend in a little hmm. bit. It's, uh, it's just a, uh, it does meet floodplain, so it's it's pretty elevated there, and um, but it's at the minimum of meeting floodplain. Yep. That's it. Thank thank you, man. Yeah. Thanks. Um. So with this being a contributing lot, Mr. Ch Mr. Chair, um, the structure would have to uh, comply with Resilient Nantucket Chapter 11 um, for new construction. Uh, elevation certificate should be provided. Uh, this proposed dwelling is um, not in keeping with other dwellings. Um, and it, it, the fact that it has the double frontage within the Brand Point neighborhood. Has, and I will- sorry, what? Has double. It has double frontage, so it has its frontage oh. on North Beach and its its frontage on Cornish. Gotcha. Um, which is very similar to a couple of other um, sections within the Brand Point neighborhood, which it like uh, Walsh and Willard, are in other examples. Um, so this dwelling introduces kind of a, a different vernacular um, with a gable ended Victorian type structure uh, versus the E forwards that it's adjacent to, um, which also are, are 1930s um, architecture. Uh, the biggest change, I think, is having the attached garage off of Cornish Street. It's going to be accessed off of Cornish, but it's addressed off of um, North Beach Street. Um, I, I, uh, from a logistics perspective, I see a lot of issues on that, um, but that's not the HTC's purview. So uh, this introduces a development very similar to um, some areas outside of Charleston, South Carolina, um, where we have some infill subdivisions that are creating these kind of like small streets for access. Not sure if this is a, the type of vernacular the, that the HDC is looking for. Um, it's also, I understand it's a smaller, narrow lot. Um, I didn't re, you know, do some research at all on it, but I would assume that the um, 1930 structure was subdivided uh, off of one of the adjacent parcels. And that's possibly why it's a um, smaller lot. Um, but I appreciate the proposed streetscape um, that really helps um, understand how it, it lies in with the um, street. And I was just curious overall whether or not there was an inspiration um, at, for this structure because not many um, gable, you know, ended or proposed per se. Um, but I do think it's a good use in the the size of the lot. So those are my comments, Mr. Chair. And Thank I you. do um, will note that Mickey has comments. Mickey, you go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this uh, the, the gable end windows would look better as a for as is a four light, a little narrower and taller to achieve vertical panes. Mm. Mm -hmm. With the projecting rake boards, <laughs> the rake trim should indicate a one by eight or one by 10 sub rake against the building. Um, porch posts might improve by widening a little bit, window caps on the windows, um, adding shutters on the front would be a bonus. In general, all of the trim would benefit from beefing up a little bit. An old Victorian house would have white or gray painted trim rather than natural trim. The rear six light door should be changed to a 12 light with kick panel. 
and the skylight may be visible. That's it. Thanks. Mickey. Mickey. Yes. <laughs> I find it very ironic that you're being critical of the air to your to your <laughs> Your enterprise. We, we try to be fair, right? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. That was an easy review. I used to work for him. Work for him. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks. Comments from the board. Um, the the HAB comment on the color, I think that's actually, I mean, I just assumed it was white. Uh, you know, it just it just has that kind of uh, kind of look to it, um, and yeah, a little more detail. Should I dare say cross bus <coughs> on the post? But I don't know. oh, you said it already. The cat's out of the bag. Um, but the uh, you know it looks tall, but you're dealing with a floodplain issue. Um, I should, you know, maybe adding that water table line just below the shingle line to just make that foundation look a little less uh, exposed. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Who's next? I'll go if you want. Thank you, Diane. Go ahead. The um, I have one thing that came to mind looking at the, I think it's the, uh, the, the west side. It looks like it's side piece to side piece with the setback of, of the legal setback. Um, I, I don't know if if we could have any additive massing other than the, the little uh, ends on the first floor. It, if you look at the cutout, the site plan, it's a big, rectangular building and you have you have land if you break it down a little bit to to at least give it a little bit and I don't know you probably can't make it any narrower mm -hmm. so just stuck with that um, architecturally I, I think it's it's fine and it will it in. Um, Nikki mentioned shutters. I don't know mm. that it looks like you have room to put them in because the shutters have to work and the windows are tight on either side of the front door. Um, so I don't know that they would go there, but it looks like it will fit into to North Beach Street at where it is better than some the um, then how how tall is it with the with the uh, roof walk no roof walk it's uh, yeah, it's 31 it's like 32 feet high what's that that's the one we're talking about this is just a street right scape. if i didn't have to put yeah. it on, in the oh that's plan, the next be, house yeah 26 or so um, how tall did you say it was? 32. 32, but I'm, I'm because of the flood plane. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. Well, I don't know. You're sort of stuck with the with the plot you got, but I would like to see if you could break it down at all. Um, how wide is it? How wide is? I believe it's 23. 23 and a half feet. 23. Yeah. Well, I forget that. Then you can't yeah. have it much narrower. In that, otherwise that's good. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Diane. Let's see. Connie, did I guess you? Sorry. Um, Go. No, that is. It's a very narrow lot. So I a think narrow that, lot. Yeah, you made good use of the space, and the two houses on the both sides of it, right now are. They look, you know, they kind of overpower that little cottage. It, yeah, that and was they're there. not in. Well, one of them seems to be. It's close to floodplain. The other one's not at all. So it, it, it hmm. for the best it can, it, it's yeah. trying to do, trying to fit in. I do like Jesse's idea of lowering that uh, to, you know, lessen the, the bottom. 
but other than that, yeah, I don't really have any other issues. Okay. Did I miss anyone? Did I, get I haven't gone. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so I had uh, similar thoughts that uh, HSAB did. Um, and that were, that was um, the the little window up in the gable. I think that should be smaller and just a four line. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, both I'm sides. on both both ends. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would on the uh, staying on the south elevation. I would. I'm not sure if that's a. Um, but I would make that lat lattice a little larger spacing. Um, it looks oh, a little sure, tight. Sure, yeah. Is that just, that might be just um, no. your CAD drawing or something. Um, I would be okay with shutters. I think the, um, like if we're making it a Victorian, I would make the fascia strip that follows the e the gable a little thicker. It's trapped here. What? I, 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 like Mickey said, oh. I need that sub rake and, and it'll read correctly. Yeah, it's just a little thin yep. and it will really pronounce that 12 by 12 um, gable. Yep. Um, dee -da -dee -da -dee. Um, white trim. Um, oh yeah, the columns could be a little thicker. I think they look a little spindly. I don't know, but you don't, like we just had, had did the veranda and they had the brackets that were kind of ornate. I don't think you need that, but. I, yep. No, I think you've done a fine job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks. So I think because it's a gable forward and you got two eave forwards on both sides, which means the ridge is further away and it is relatively tall building, I would be in favor of just dropping the roof pitch. Architects as a group love 12 and 12 roof pitches. You know, I do. Um, but I think in this case, if you went to an 11, you would just drop it enough so that it was like more in line with the other guys. And you'd probably drop maybe eight inches to a foot of the ridge height, which would be good. Like the idea of the shutters, four light window and the gable ends. Um, that's it for me. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, can we have a motion? Yeah. Well, I can make a, do you want me to make one to approve with those little clauses? Oh, uh, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Yeah, like, or, so, but then we'll, let's saying? circle back around. You know, you do have this issue of finding a home for your move off, right? Well, that's, that's a separate application, so. It, yeah. I, know, I know it is, yeah. but so, you know, we would obviously be approving this with the stipulation that, you know, right. well, yeah. you can't build it on top of the other house. I can't, I can't permit can't. the demo yet. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mr. Chair. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I just wanted to remind the commission this structure does have to comply with resilient Nantucket. Yeah. So, so does we... he need to submit stuff? Yes. Okay. So through staff, we're going to yes. do, he needs to submit uh, survey type stuff to yep. give us a datum. What? I would prefer a, a hold for revisions. I'm fine. So I want to draw it. I want to see. You know, yeah. No. I think I, I don't want to rush it. I'd rather. Well, we're not going to. Motion to hold for revisions. There we go. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Um, I would prefer a denial. <laughs> <laughs> With all due respect to the board. Oh, I, oh. I missed that whole thing. They want natural to weather. That's going to look awful. Yeah. Not down there. Hey, Liz. Oh, they need gray. Yeah. Gray wow, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So now we're going to go to 15 Walsh. Liz is going to tell us all about the fence, I believe, down there. So, um, Stephen, are you off on? Um, you guys keep going. Okay. You, you're going to be required on the next couple. Yeah. 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 And then I'm going to go. You're going. Where are you going? <laughs> It's so only 7.15. We still have three hours. I, I, let's make it. It's been 7 o'clock for about an hour. Have so much <laughs> yeah. Next time. I noticed that too. Okay, so let's see. 15 Walsh. Uh, Liz Tenechi with Chris Brown Mori Design and Construction. Um, I just wanted to clarify something or ask for clarification. It's highlighted on the agenda as being in the old, old historic district, but the mapping shows it outside. Okay, well, I this could this could fence. be the zoning zoning 
uh, OHD versus, oh, it is, it's outside of ours too? No, um, it's outside the OHD. Oh, it is. Okay, it is. so there's your answer. Okay, thank you. Um, there so go. basically there's an existing fence along the rear of the property. Um, it's the um, board fence. Um, and so we'd like to remove and replace 75 linear feet of that existing fence. And then they'd like to add a 42 foot long fence along the right hand side of the property or the you know, southeast property line not running down the whole property line, just basically replacing the hedge that's there that is does not do well because it's very um, shady in that area. Mm -hmm. So, And I have a bunch of photos of the same fencing all around. Yeah, we see those. Yeah. <laughs> we see those. So Liz, really, it's sort of a Z-shaped fence more or less, right? And so you're replacing two of the legs of the Z and then the third one is new. Yes. And that is going where a privet hedge formerly sat? It is there. And is it's the hedge standing. going to heaven? The hedge is gone. We'll be oh, the hedge is gone. Yeah, okay. it doesn't do well. Gotcha. You can see the shade in the home. Okay. So Holly, do you, do you have comments on this? I do just okay. um, so for clarification, the house in the lot is a uh, circa 1979. Um, my main comment is that the, um, the fence detail, it's a five in one, obviously mm -hmm. um, the proposed detail obviously is different than what is um, existing. Yeah. And I would note that, that even the existing is not typically what you all um, like to see for 501. You like to see the squared mm -hmm. um, lattice uh, type. Um, and this one would introduce the, the one that's proposed as, as a, I haven't, I'm not familiar with one that you've approved like that at all. So I would recommend the five and one with the lattice square at the top. We have no problem with that. Awesome. Oh. And I did want to notate that obviously if, if the, proposed oh no never mind i'll take that back but yeah those are my comments mr chair <laughs> natural to weather okay all right we think holly took the words on and up you have no concerns as long as we yeah go with square okay great anybody else i'll put this a different way are there any concerns about the proposal yeah. any concerns all right if there are no concerns, I think we could move it along. Yeah. Yeah, just going to make it. Uh, motion to approve with square lattice versus cross lattice. Very good. Thank you. Through staff. Um, okay, everybody on Jesse's motion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Night, night. Um, okay, now we're on to this next page. So the next two Highland Ave, those are emeritus. Actually, Highland Ave plus Step Lane are all emeritus, which we are holding for Matthew, which then brings us to 16 Easton Street and 32 Holbrook, both of which Lisa is here to represent. Lisa's jet lagging right now, so go easy on her. Uh oh. Duly noted. That's fine. Hey, Lisa. Hi, how are Welcome you? Welcome back. Thank you. It's um, not good to be back. Get this to <laughs> it's not where, where were you? I was in Paris. Oh, fun. Yeah, it was fun. No, it's good to be back. horrible. <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah, there were a lot of Nantucket people there. When you're ready. Okay, these are just revisions to the main house. The, no massing revisions. Um, the north elevation had a revision to the front porch detail which actually, unfortunately, uh, that bell's not here because it's sort of, I don't know if you guys remember the um, antique that used to be here had these, or the like an arch porch um, opening to it. Um, that was one change. The major change is actually, is we got rid of the corner boards and did um, a, a shingle flare uh, to the brick piers and just to have the rake boards and the eave boards. 
Um, the other changes are, I think that's basically it. Um, we would add shingle flare, the front entry. That's it. Okay, thank you. Any questions, Lisa? Anyone from the public? Holly? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so as Lisa had mentioned that the this structure you all approved um, is replacing the 1955 driftwood that also replaced the um, original gambrel from the 1800s that was also called driftwood. Um, from staff's perspective, um, I believe that the proposed shingle flare uh, and removing the corner boards are appropriate. Um, might want to look at the distance of where the shingle line is. Seems a lot of space um, from the start of it up to the windows. Um, my main concern is on the brick pier design. I believe it looks a little bit out of proportion and I would um, refer back to the previous approval. Those are my comments and I know HSAG had some comments. Okay, thanks. Can we hear HSAG? Is Mickey here? Yep. Hey, Mickey, go ahead, please. Thanks. Um, so we are okay with the arc um, the arch over the front door, but it, it should be a little bit shallower just so that it, if you um, if you could go to that elevation, you'll you'll see what I'm talking yeah, about. I think I see what you're talking about. It, it kind of hits the beam. It almost eliminates the beam entirely. So so what we'd like to see is a shallower arch or a deeper beam just to reveal some of the, you know, separate it from the from the horizontal bar above. Yeah. Um, we're okay with the shingle flare, but the shingle line has dropped, um, creating too much shingled area below the windows, and it adds another panel below the windows to the right. The shingle line should remain where it naturally should be, roughly a foot or so below the floor level. And the brick piers should be located where a natural structural support would be, not just at the corners. <laughs> As shown, the spans just feel uncomfortably long and you'll see that more on the other elevations rather than that one the back side i assume probably the back yeah not not so much there but maybe on the back. have we changed that though i think from the previous approval they're in the same location but if you want to i i think we can still add some i would add them and, and maybe even make them a little thinner just so they look more like an old traditional brick simple brick pier that you'd have it at support being um i can look into that mickey only that they're pouring the foundation i don't know where they are with these at yeah. the moment but they're the, i think they're the same size as what was previously drawn right. it's just the shingle flares maybe making them look a little different guys let's just go um uh let's have mickey talk and then we'll go to the board. okay that's it steve i'm done we're, we're done with our comments okay thank you um questions for lisa back to that who would like to start with comments so it's um all five of us as your board anyone um i like i like the changes and i think it improves the building i like the uh the suggestion of making jesse jesse i can't hear you Sorry, I'm right here. Sorry. Uh, I was just saying that I like um, the changes. I think it's an improvement. And I think the arch um, should be a little bit shallower or the upper piece a little bit narrower to give a little bit more space in between. As You're talking about the, oh, the front door? The arch, yeah. 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 So it just, as, as Mickey mentioned. OK, thank you. Diane? Yeah. Um... I agree with what uh, Mickey has said. I think the front door, that art thing we've looked at several times and it would be good. I, I think the building is a standout building. I think it's going to be interesting for people going by. I think it fulfills the question. I often thought it was too big, but it seems to be working working for it now it doesn't seem to be so overpoweringly big so i approve of the <clears throat> i approve it thank you abby 
Um, the, the, um, the, the new arch over the front mm -hmm. door is the first thing that caught my eye. Um, I just wonder if the columns couldn't be shorter so you can get a little more at that, at that peak of the arch. It looks a little thin there, like it might yeah. snap. Like okay. I, I think it would be a stronger statement too if you, if you really wanna make that work. Um, uh, when you originally said you flared out the skirt, I was pretty excited. But I see what Mickey's saying about the distance. There's so much distance now between, um, you know, the end of the shingle course and the window. Is there a compromise somewhere that where you could do both? Yeah, I'm sure we can look at that. I, I don't remember where this originated from, the lowering of the shingle uh, flare. It might have been with when we were designing the piers and trying to figure out where to put them. But we could probably raise them up. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind um, seeing the um, pilings with the, um, you know, the boards in between, mm -hmm. um, because it's a feature now of, of everything down there. So, it has to be, yeah. Um, and this almost looks a little shallow now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it looks like it could be a little bit, have a little more height to it. So, um, hmm. yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a great design. Can I just, I'm uh, oh, sorry. I have nothing further other okay. than what's already been said. Um, thank you. I think, uh, yeah, uh, Mickey's comments covered it and then follow ups. My, what, what I would prefer to see, I think would be appropriate. Well, first of all, let me say, I think this flare is something I'd like to plant the seed that um, keeping this in mind on homes that it's appropriate as a strategy with uh, designing the coastal resiliency, because this really helps to change the nature of the pier and curtain FEMA solution. It, it just changes the relationship of that area to the house and the perception of the vertical lines. Um, it's not gonna be appropriate with every structure, but certainly with Gambrell's, um, I think it can be pulled off and it, it really changes the nature of it in a positive way. Along the lines of the shingle line being too low, I, I don't disagree. I, I would like to see that maybe cheated down a couple of courses or at least one course of shingles. Because, you mean cheated it up? Uh, no, I mean, go back to the original shingle line and then cheat it down a couple. Okay, follow, I follow. Um, because there's several here. Uh, it looks like one, two, three, four. So if you could split it or maybe get one and a half, lower the shingle line by one and a half, I think that would be good. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, those are at the arch, been covered, everything's been covered. Is there um, something through staff or do we want to see this again? I don't want to see it. Okay. <laughs> no, no offense I don't, to that. Through staff. Okay. So I think Mickey had said something about a, did you say Mickey, a foot below the floor? He, he said it. Up. I think he said to the original one. Just, to, you know, normally it's about a little bit over a foot. Yeah, oh, below the floor, oh, covering the floor. floor. Okay, yeah. if we do that. So I would say Perfect. six more inches down. I, I think you can you can absorb that and it'll make an impact on the uh, the pier and curtain. I don't feel strongly about it, but. I like it the way it is, just personally. Okay, does anybody else have thoughts on how much to bring it down to the original or maybe another five to six inches? Can you still do the um, the flare? Yeah. If you, yeah. I, I would say, um, I think there's too much <clears throat> space between the window and the end of the <clears throat> uh, course of shingles. So, so do you I, think, I think it, should it should go back up to the original? To the original, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but still have the flare and I'd put a little more oomph into that arch. Was there anything else? Yeah, the pier widths and uh, distances. And I just, my only comment on the pier widths is that not right. too skinny because it's, I think, going to. I get, I believe I get what Mickey was saying is that they, they're not quite as wide as these, but I just want to be sure to underscore, you know, I think like a 12 inch is going to be too thin. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I don't think they're any narrower. I just yeah. think they're appearing narrower. Yeah. They, they, if you they're, count they're the. Not I, I don't, I don't bricks. want to speak for Mickey, but I think he was saying to make them a little narrower. Can yeah. I get a, a clarification? 
Steve, I think that um, the width is probably good the way they are. It'll it'll change the proportions if you raise the shingle line, and I think that'll look good. Perfect. Right. I'd still Perfect. like you to consider adding another one in the middle for those line spans. Yeah. So, um, okay. I'll I'll I just don't know where they are in pouring this wall. But. It's next uh, elevation set. Yeah. It wasn't there before, so we didn't I add it here. On the left. Matt, the left and the right, the, the two Ford Gambro cables. Right. It was previously approved without them. That's why they're yeah. not there. Well, we didn't I, remove anything. So I'm going to make a motion. Put them back in. Um, I just I took, motion. You're going to make a motion. You're going to say And I'm going to say it. Thank it. you for saving me on that. <laughs> so um, the uh, shingle line will be raised to its previous location. This is all through staff. The arch over the front door uh, will be deeper, which is to say taller. And um, the piers will add a set, add a pier where there is more than a, on center or otherwise, more than a, it looks like a, there's not more, more than a 15 foot span between the piers. So that should address it. And um, that's it, All right? Nothing else? Um, okay. When I said about the arch, I meant to beef up the arch, not to make it higher. Yeah, no, the, the arch, the, the what did I say? You said, said to make, raise. You said to make the arch higher. Higher. Oh, low, I meant to, to beef it up. So lower the bottom portion of the opening of the arch. Yeah. Right, bring it forward. Yeah. The arch shallower. Yeah, make right. it so shallower. So you have more meat up there. Yeah. So, yeah, so the right. present, there's actually some meat in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a wish arch, it's a yes. meaty arch. Yeah. Okay, um, on Diane's motion. Aye. Aye. All in favor, aye. aye. Any opposed, carries unanimously. Thank okay. you. Um, 32 Halbert. So this is also just some revisions as we're uh, refining the drawings. On the north elevation, it was putting that chimney back to its original um, location. It had been approved there once and we moved it and now we're putting it back to where it was. Oops, there we go. That was the um, previous approval, I think, right? No, those are not the drawings I have here. Yeah, we don't have this in our packet. Uh, the difference. Yeah, just wait. I'll be with you in a second, kid. In a second. Wait till Thursday if you don't have the right drawings or till Tuesday. It's not. It's not in our. In the Bob. We're going to need to add up a, a packet checker person. Yeah, let's make sure it's not here. Do you okay. Want to wait yeah. Then? Let's. Uh, um, Terry, do we need a motion to put this on Thursday, or we can just pick it up? Give her a second. I don't think we need to motion it. Can we just not do it? Yeah. And do it Thursday. Okay. So we'll. Uh, well, you know, just to be safe, a motion to hear this Thursday. Aye. Aye. Okay, all in favor say aye. aye. And, and can I uh, okay. just clarify that you have the drawings? I think Terry's. I would have to refer to them. Okay. Did you want to just check in the same? Okay. Thanks, Lisa. So, Linda, you're holding uh, Grant LLC, right? Yeah, who's yeah. going to be there Thursday? Do we have any idea who can come Thursday? Me. I can uh, come Zoom. They'll be back, I think. Uh, yeah, she's up with the windmill court today. Oh, yeah, right. Huh? We know we Who else is here Thursday? I'm here Thursday. Okay. I'm here by a Zoom Thursday. Okay. And Stephen, you're here Thursday? No. Okay. What, when is that? Are we doing Thursday? This week. 
Okay, okay. so uh, so we'll move on to Warren's Landing, which is much ado about nothing. Um, so uh, we are holding uh, North Beach Street, yep. right? Dolphin Court. I thought all those people were waiting to hear it. I don't know. We're moving it to Thursday. Many of my most of my guys will be available on Thursday. The architect and whatnot. Okay. So, are there people here? There's people in the queue, but I don't know that they're here. So the open space. I understood there was a lot. Well, I'd rather. I'm asking not to open it and continue it to Thursday because none of my guys are here to hear it. What are we talking about? North Beach Street. Yeah, and that's my right to do that. LLC. Yeah. Um, you forgive me. I don't. I don't have on the tip of my tongue what our rule was for that. Well, I know what Robert's rules is. No, 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 no. no. This is our practices rules. about extension. Um, yeah, holdovers. So it was if it was more than once, then so it you can do it once for nothing, right? Penalized. <laughs> once. <laughs> Basically, you can hold anything over as long as you give two weeks' notice, so that if there are butters. They don't have to hang. I don't have to give two weeks notice because we didn't know until yesterday I, or today. But, but don't not, be argumentative. Yeah, I don't want to argue. I'm not. We, I just know the laws. I don't know yeah, what you no, guys no, are we doing. We have practices. Yeah, we have rules and regulations. And one of them is so that, that you can't keep delaying. And we no. you know to be fair. Let me just finish, please. Um, we have not posted them and sent them out to architects and designers, but we will be doing that like Monday or Tuesday next week. As soon as I can get them turned around, I was out sick for quite a while. Are we going to have a public hearing on any no, of that? We ha we've had we a public hearing, them. and we've we've had public hearing. We discussed, deliberated, and voted these, and you will be made aware of that, and we'll go from there. Um, likewise, I don't think that those can ap ap apply to applications that weren't in that were in at the time in a sense. So we're just going to, you know, we're trying to get there. We'll get them out. They'll be applicable to everyone. You've got one holdover and let's leave it at that. Okay. So now we're on to 26 Warren's landing. Uh, Abby's off of this. So where are we in the rotation? Well, I think that's Sorry. everybody else then. One, two, three. Oh yeah, it is everybody else. Nice. All right. <laughs> 16 East and yeah. <laughs> Are we all together here? Okay, we all ready on this? 26 Warren's Landing. 26 Warren's Landing. Right. You might as well go to the site plan. That's probably the best place That's to start. Where I'm looking right now. There you go. I gotta print those rules and bring them with me. Mm -hmm. 26 Warren's Landing. I think I probably have them in the car. Lily. Okay, so. Tell us what you got. We, the it's first in, thing we have down is is uh, the main house, I guess. Main house fenestration change. Yeah, and uh, it's not visible. It's in the middle of a six and a half acre piece <clears> of property. <throat> you see the things to the right of it on your um, site plan. Those this are is all... the one labeled existing house, correct? Yes, it's the one sort of in the middle there. Got it. And uh, it's a one story natural to weather wood roof house. Um, not visible from anywhere and literally got to airlift into this because you got to come down a long driveway easement off of uh, Warren's Landing Road past four other lots. And the lots on the right actually front on Warren's Landing Road, um, not really involved with Fisher's Landing, but across from Fisher's Landing on the right. So it's not visible and it's one story and I've given you a lot of pictures of it. Rather an interesting older house pieces added on over time. And it's actually a one story house with no basement. <laughs> mm, yeah, basements are tough out there. So that's pretty much it for this one. What I don't understand is, so it's labeled as main house fenestration change, but it also looks like you're doing a fairly large addition on, right? It's not a large addition. I don't know. He's an architect. I'm not sure why he bubbled the whole thing. But if you look at the pictures, you can see what the structure looks like. There's no pictures in my package. 
Where are the pictures? I took a billion of them and they came in with a file. Right from the beginning, I spent hours putting all these pictures together. Well, there, there are, guys, please, there are existing elevations and proposed elevations. Yeah, and I made them give you the existing elevations, but I also put a ton of pictures in with all okay. three of these. Linda, we got it, but we want to try and move forward a little bit. Well, if you want to know what it looks like, okay. look at the pictures. Okay, we can't move forward if you keep talking. Okay. Just hang tight. We're, we're going to get there. So there's existing elevations and proposed elevations. Yeah. You know how much I love so. my pictures. Can like, you go, can, I'm sorry, can you scroll to sheet A2.02? Yeah, that one. There you go. Okay. So, so that's the existing building? Existing's on the top, proposed is below. Yeah. Because it's, don't forget, it's got that kind of angle where it goes off in the distance. I believe Adrian has hard copies as well of the pictures. Which I believe is what those vertical lines are somewhat supposed to be representing. What are the vertical lines supposed to be representing? I don't know. It's an no. architect thing. I, I'm, I'm not from my order. No, there's some pictures there. It's not visible, obviously. So squint past the vertical lines. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's distracting. I'll comment. Yeah, go ahead. What? Okay. Yeah. I don't have any questions. 90s. Um, my comments are that I think it's not a, change, a positive change. Um, the east elevation, it's a, a welcome simplification. The Holly, I'm sorry, were you going to talk? No, she was asking me how old it was. Mr. Chair, no, no sorry. Um, I was just, yeah, I was going to ask her the age because um, that wasn't. Okay, Indicate no, I just didn't want to cut you off there. Thank you. Um, the west elevation, I think, is, you know, a little overfenestrated, but due to the lack of visibility, it's okay. I do miss the charm of the existing uh, meager of doors, but again, due to the visibility, I think it's okay. And so those are the only two elevations that are being modified. Oh, no, the others are, I see. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't have material concerns with these either. I will note that um, I think uh, Jason should kite these and take a look at just making that uh, other when he was presenting. Say what? Bit larger scale. This is a really kind of interesting structure, though. The it's, silhouettes. You should be out there. That's why I wanted you to look at the pictures. It's a really unusual looking structure, but I believe it was approved because it's not visible. Okay. Those are my comments, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Here's Thank you. Right. And and by the way, the reason I was confused is because the existing elevations are labeled as proposed elevations on yeah. sheet A 2.01. We're getting rid of that dormer, whichever one oh, that I is. That. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Um, and I did see the photos. I have the photos. Who's next? Uh, I have no concerns. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anyone else? Linda, what's the difference between the existing east? I can't hear. What's the difference? You got to speak into that because the TV can't hear you either. What's the difference between the existing east elevation and the proposed east elevation? Steve, you'll have to show it to her. It's Nothing. that there's, oh, they're getting rid of the little dormer. Oh, that's okay. okay. Um, scroll up one. So this is the west. Existing and oh, okay, yep. I have no concerns then. You're good, yep. Okay, Diane. Well, it's out and about, and so it's probably lots of little things that we shouldn't have, but I think basically, uh, with the, the three, all the three windows that. It's gone in on this thing with the gable and on what is it, the west elevation. I prefer what was there, but if you can't see it, then I guess it's okay. Okay. Diane, thank you. 
And I have no concerns with this application now that I understand what it's about. So before I make a motion, will you go to A2.01, please, Adrian? A2.1. So uh, Linda, both the top, which are existing, and mm -hmm. the bottom, which are proposed, are labeled proposed. So my motion is going to prove through staff with sheet A2.01 uh, corrected to reflect existing oh. elevations. OK. To your point earlier. Right. OK. Just Sound. that one, Steve, not the other Yeah, ones. the other one looks fine. <laughs> the other okay. ones are good. OK. That is Stephen's motion. All those in favor of Stephen's motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? OK, let's jump along. To, let's do the second dwelling yes, first. Yes, let's and go then there the first. <laughs> OK. I'll wait till you put it up, but I'll give you the so basics. Second dwelling is new. Second dwelling is new. Um, it again is not visible. It's hundreds of feet away from any road. And it also is a one story natural to weather uh, structure, very reminiscent of the main uh, dwelling. They didn't want something completely alien. So it's gets a lot of the same things on the main dwelling. One story natural to weather, not visible. Okay. There it is. It's simpler. It's smaller. Obviously, it has to be 20% smaller than the uh, other one. Okay. Let me go. Yeah. Um, first of all, I think that we should adopt. Can we go to A0.01? Which one? 0 0.01. The first page. Oh, yep. <laughs> one more. One more. The series of circles. Yeah, all those are the brackets. Top. This, oh. I, I really think we should adopt this as a standard for Locus. Oh, it's the very simple. It gives you all anything. the information you need in about a half a second. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll compliment them on that, and I'm, I'm going to bring that up as a best practices later. Um, with respect to the structure given. <laughs> Um, for the same reasons previously stated, I have no concerns. Okay, thank you. Who's next? I don't need it. Very good. Thank you, Diane. Me neither. All right. Jesse, anything? I'm good. Thank you. All right. We can have a motion. Motion to approve is submitted. There we go. Uh, all those in favor of Stephen's motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Very good. Okay, now we get to our pool now what pool i need you to do i absolutely have to have you look at the pictures there's no other way to actually explain this structure unless you look at the pictures so i don't know if they're up there but they were turned in every side of it was turned in and um you adrian you minutes. may have hard copies in that file you have to look at the pictures i can't even explain this thing to you but again it's not visible okay i'm looking but no, you need to see the photographs. I've never seen any structure like this on Nantucket before in my life, but you can't see it. And the family's had it there for decades. Okay. But you got to look at the photos. Is it in the same location? Same. It's up. It's the piece that's up on the left, up at the top yeah. there. And you're replacing that? Yeah. They need to rebuild it. It's kind of uh, decrepit in the pool. I wouldn't get in the pool. Do we have photos here? Absolutely. Where paper or on the screen? They were they were scanned in with the rest of the application, so I don't know where they went. <coughs> paper fall back. Oops, sorry. It's one in the same. That's what I'm saying. You have to see the picture. It's bizarre. This is the this is the father of Nantucket's ugliest building. That's at Pleasant Street. <laughs> it could very oh, well really? be in competition, oh, yeah. guys. It's, a, it's the wood sided version. But it's uh, not visible again, and I tried multiple ways for you to see it, okay. but it's so not. Linda, what are you doing with this? We're taking it down and putting it back up. Same There's location. Same. Yep. Same, same. Oh. I think it's like eight it's feet longer, okay. but that's about it. Okay. What is that? I see the picture. Guys. Yeah, of course. Here you go. <laughs> there so were multiple copies. I in have the a file. question if I threw it. Maybe. Sure, go ahead. So Linda, what is, can we go to the, guys, can we go to the uh, elevations, please? Camper. Which one? Uh, the first, east. Um, 
I mean, it looks like a, a Vermont covered bridge. Yeah. Can you zoom in a little bit on the top one? Uh, Linda, do you know what, it looks to me like this rendering technique is kind of to minimize the length of the building and create a little confusion. And um, basically this is, they're showing in the middle section with the, with the cut lines that there's structure there. Yes. Diagonal bracing, vertical and diagonal bracing. But really what we're seeing is on top of that bracing is a, is a vertical board cladding. Mm -hmm. Yes, all the way across. Okay, so that does look like a technique of yeah. some kind. Yeah. And then these are the ends. Yep. Okay. And then I presume both sides are the same or is one side open? But I think they're both <laughs> identical. If you go down to the next page, I believe you can see the other side. This is the west. There you go. It's, a, it's identical on both sides and one end has windows. I, the other end does not. I mean... I guess my comment is that if it exists, it exists. I'd certainly atypical. Um, I think that under penalties of perjury, we would need test testification that this is never going to be visible. It's, and if you'd have to rip down everything that's on Warren's landing to get it. Yeah, I think I just invented a word too. By the way. Yeah. Um, I testify that I couldn't even see it when I was on the lot. They had to take me through the uh, trees to get uh, there. But you did you have your <laughs> eyes open or not? Eyes open because there's poison ivy. Okay. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chair. So, anybody else? But if you're going to make a motion to approve it, I would Shh. do lack of visibility because there's no other way you'd approve this. Uh, thanks, Linda. Uh, thanks. Um, anyone else? Comments? I, I don't I, know what kind of comment to make. <laughs> you know, it's there. It's grayed out. It's yeah. going to be natural. The weather. Finish. And again, to yep. my to my nan, uh, Madikit is a funky place. So uh, motion approved through staff, not visible of time at time of inspection or thereafter. Sounds okay. good. Okay, on Stephen's motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Stephen, can you also include due to lack of visibility on this one up yeah. front? Yeah. Okay. Like visibility right. Well, and, let's and append to that no because it's different when you have to put screening in to yeah, yeah. Yeah. protect the pool, but right. this is due to lack of visibility. Okay, Otherwise, so you'd now never we're on to 22 it. Vestal Street. All right, 22 Vestal 14. This is kind of confusing on the addresses on here. There was a 4181L. Oh, no. Wait, you'll be happy. We'll be happy. Yeah. Okay, great. Wow, look at that. Okay, hey, so everybody, who's on this now? Is uh, Abby, Abby back? are you back? I am back. Okay. Okay, Hold on. so let's see. Now we're back to rotation. Connie, you want to be on this one? Okay. Hold on. That's good. What are they doing? Okay. So we're going to sit there. Here you my go. Arm, my hand's getting Stay up there. Stay there. Stay there. What you see in blue is 14 Vestal. Yep. It originally had the old house, the historic house, up on the up on Vestal Street on the top. On the bottom is a 1995 or 97 house down there. I've got it in the application. Okay. On the right, right is 22 Vestal, which is a 1930s, 40s era cottage. A 4181L was done. The lots were combined. The two lots were combined at the planning board. A 4181L was done to split the old house off on its own and split the cottage off on its own. And they created the new house down on the bottom on, that fronts on Quaker was on its own. So what ended up happening is that lot on the bottom went to the right behind that cottage. Okay, and look at the site plan. It's probably the easiest way to do it, but looking at those cottages. So that lot with the newer house is conforming. It's got a 5,000 square foot, et cetera, et cetera. The other two lots were almost 5,000 square feet. They were short by like 60, 60 feet. They couldn't get a piece off the neighbor who had more than enough to give it to them. So what they want to do now is not for once, the 4181L is not destroying the ancillary structure. They are moving it down onto the lot with the new structure. So the cottage is going to remain intact, but just moving, if you look at the, the aerial above you, it's moving south. So there'll be the newer cottage and the um, older cottage on the same lot. 
they meet ground cover, they meet everything else, which the only other change that would be created would be a vacant, almost conforming lot of a vacant lot on 22 Vestal now. So what we're here for now is simply to move off 22 Vestal of the old cottage and move on to what is going to become 16 Quaker behind the uh, other structure. The planning board's already approved that, both of them. So that's what we're doing. We're not getting rid of it. I will be back once we move it next month with some door changes, window changes, but the structure is moving uh, over to the other lot. You can see where it's moving up there. So we're not getting rid of it, we're keeping it. It's too cute and, and too good a shape to get rid of it. So it's now becoming the secondary dwelling to the newer structure. So you can see how the lots are subdivided up there now. There's been a slight adjustment at the uh, planning board, but nothing that's gonna really impact this of the lot lines. And once it moves behind the uh, older, the newer structure, it's not really visible from, uh, there it is. There's a picture of it right above you. It was not uh, gonna be visible pretty much from Quaker, but it still will be visible from um, Vestal. It's just be oriented differently. Can somebody say that in a nutshell? Mr. Let's Chair. move into the next lot. Mr. Okay. Chair. Thank you. Technically we're looking at you could Linda, you look at these two applications together. Yeah. <clears throat> move off, move on. Is what um, it is. You're you're moving off this uh, cottage, 1940s cottage. It is it has, does have an HTC survey on file. It's called Tiger Lily, <laughs> um, and it's moving to 14 Quaker Road. Um, so, well, 16 eventually. 16 Quaker. Don't confuse them. <laughs> yeah, 14 is up above um, it. Mr. Chair, obviously. Um, it's apparent that we appreciate, I know I appreciate this being saved and not um, moving out of its original context, actually staying put, even though even if it was moved across the island, it would still be contributing. But right. nonetheless, the fact that it's being moved adjacent um, and staying where it was predominantly where it was originally um, built is great. So thank you for saving it. Okay, thanks. Mickey, do you have anything to say on this one? Um, no, we have no concerns with the move off or the move on. We're good with that. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mickey. Yeah. Um, board members, you coming in with a hardscape plan? Yeah, all that coming in when I come back in with a door and window change on it. Because I've got to come back in for the driveway part of it. I think it would be good to move. I think it tuck down there in the worst. It's one of the cutest cottage, little cottages around that yeah, I've seen nice. it's very nice. for ages. And um, it's small enough that if it's not in exactly the right position because of something or other, it can be moved. But I think to Which save it is, is, is very important. The new owner loved this cottage. <laughs> uh, who's our alternate? Uh, Connie. Connie. Can I go? Yeah, I have no issues. Okay, good. Diane, you've already spoken. Yeah. Um, this one. Okay, and that's going to, to this one. Wait a second. Here it is. Yeah, to this. This one. goes to here. This so the locust makes it a little confusing. When yeah. You okay? Yes, I did. I'm okay, but now I'm just trying to get yeah. you, you okay? Um, no, Ab yes, yes, I'm okay. Abby's okay. Maybe I think everyone's okay, okay then, folks. A uh, motion to approve the move and the off and the move on. Great. Okay. Yeah. Kill two birds with one stone. Um, Stephen has motion to approve both the move off and the move on. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, aye. Any opposed? Thank Very you. Very good. Now we got some fenestration changes. Is that correct? Uh, that's on the newer structure. Uh, yeah. Okay. And there's just a couple of window changes. She's sort of rearranging the interior of this thing. It's kind of dark. This is the next. I think maybe there's like two windows. Is this the next application? Yeah. Or is it it's, yeah. It's for the house. 
the west elevation is what faces um, Quaker. Okay. It's sideways to Quaker. Okay. Changing some windows, making them a little bit more regular. There's a bathroom they're adding upstairs. So it's pretty simple. It's probably the newest structure in that area. I think it's if you lock your screen, you can turn it. How do you lock your screen? Can you sorry? How about that? Oh, You turn the iPad and then the picture turns and then it's, it's, it's you got to lock the screen. But yeah, yeah I, I couldn't figure out how to lock my screen yet. I don't know how to do that. So thank All right. You. Well, so Mr. These Chair, old changes are very minimal. Yeah. Oh, Holly? Holly? Thank, Sorry, thank you. Chair. That's right. So yes, this is a, um, a contributing, uh, excuse me, non-contributing 1995 colonial within the old historic district boundaries. Um, appreciate the windows being um, that are being proposed as TDL. However, um, I would mention that the new window being proposed in the existing dormer, um, this little guy right here, understand it's for what well, Linda said, a bed, I mean, a bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it is visible because it's it's perpendicular with uh, Quaker Road. Um, and there's a little odd in its symmetry. Um, and what's existing, obviously, is very symmetrical and um, will be seen. I don't think the, there's any concerns with the proposed changes to the other elevation. Um, so I would recommend keeping the dormer as is and the other changes uh, okay. I know HSAG also has comments. Okay. Mickey. We had the same. I object to HSAG just on the record. We had the same concerns as Holly did with that dormer window. Otherwise, it's fine. Okay. Thanks, Mickey. Okay, board members. Is it Mango? Yeah. Linda, from the ground, from anywhere on the ground, can you see if that window on the dormer is full size? Can you see in it? Run that by me again. I'm just concerned that's a bathtub. You can't see it because it's so blocked by the trees that no, are not I was coming asking down. If anyone can see in the window, uh, um, which I don't know if that guy to the right of us could see it. But. I, I it was in jest. So um, I understand the concern, but I think. This is, let me just reorient. So you don't have those three bubbles that show us all the details. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be viewed obliquely from Quaker. Is that correct? If you can see it because there's a tree and a bunch of other stuff on the way. Oh, is this the? There's a tree to that side that okay. blocks the entire back of it, which is why I couldn't get a picture of it. Yeah, I did a Google as much as I could, but that's oh. not really where you can see it from. Well, but you can. Well, you can see it. Okay, but it's going to be small. I want it to be diamonds. That, that second one in is going to be the smaller one. That's the yeah. One. yeah. Okay. How about just the top sash of the other windows? What do you got? What do you guys think about that? I think why not leave it the way it is? There's a I, tub there and a shower. We can take a shower around a window. Uh, no, unless you have to do tempered glass. Okay, let, we're not going to argue the interior program. Well, so I it's just, either acceptable or it's, not. It's hard to go from something that's like. I know. It's good. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's my. Point. Okay. Diane? Uh, I would rather see at least some remark that we can't have a window in a bathroom or in a shower. We've done it before uh, and see what, because it, to change that, they're very simple and I hate to see them go. Okay, thank you. 
Stephen, have you opined on this? Um, I guess I would just say that it's refreshing to see a modest three bay. I know it's existing. Um, the uh, this would be nice to see down the Mariner Way. By the way, get um, over it. <laughs> I, I'm not terribly concerned about that window. Um, you know, yes, it will be visible, but. I just, I don't think it's really drawing. It's not like it's a focal point if it's changed or not to my mind. And if I'm wrong, um, I will buy somebody a beer when they point it out to me, but I don't think it's gonna okay. be a, a major issue. I would prefer that it be a full size window. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's completely inappropriate, inappropriate especially when you look at some of the windows and the structures on York Street, which is just a stone throw away. Yeah, exactly. And they're not all the same and they're not all the same size and they're not perfectly aligned. And this is the same era. So those are my comments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, Connie. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Steve and I have a real issue with it. Sorry. Um, in agreement with whom? You are in agreement. Oh, you don't have a real issue because I'm in agreement with Connie, who's in agreement with Steve. Like so, um, I uh, on my way home tonight, I bet you I could find a couple of samples of bathroom oh, windows and all least these a half a dozen. I mean, yeah. it's just not. Look, it's nice that they're all the same size now, but that I don't think that precludes us from having something that is doing or approving something is fairly common. That's what I would like to say. Right, um, motion to approve. Okay, very good. Um, Abby has made a motion to approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Well, there you go. Thank you very okay. much. Thanks. And now- See you all on Thursday. I think yeah, that's see it, you on right? Thursday. Yeah. How about James? Is James with us? Hello? Yeah, hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let's see what you got here. You got me, you got Diane, you got Abby, you got Connie, and you also have Jesse as an alternate. Well, yeah, Jeff, Jesse or Steven doesn't, you know. Can I make a quick comment? Yeah. We are officially working on the same projects in the same month. <gasps> this is oh, like being hurt. You better hurry up because it's almost not this month anymore. <laughs> 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 in gear. Congratulations. This is like a blue moon. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Whoa. It's a little hard to check. Let's let's let Jesse sit, sit on this one. Um, okay, James, 7A studio. Yes. Um, so we um uh the main structure was uh approved via staff just last week. Um, yeah. And what we're looking at now is the studio, which is in the back of the structure. Mm. Um, uh, this can be partially seen from Sherburn Way, as we discussed, um, which is not uh, fully publicly traveled, uh, but the bulk mm. of the project is hidden by the main house. Um, so just to go over the list of the major changes that were made, you can see at the bottom of, of the screen that you're looking at right there, the previous iteration. Uh, what we've done is we've broken down the massing uh, we've reduced the dormers on the second floor. Uh, we've increased all of the window sizes to match the main house. They were a little dinky before, for lack of, that's not a technical term. Um, we, uh, as I said, reduced the dormers, pulled them in, uh, created a small secondary mass, which now aligns with the main structure. You can see that in the site plan, uh, but you don't have to go back to that now. Uh, we removed the Juliet balconies at your request. Uh, we changed the orientation of the outdoor shower, uh, which cannot be seen. Um, as you'll see by the landscape plan, which is forthcoming. Um, and we also uh, reduced all of uh, the quad doors. There used to be four panel doors. We reduced them all to triples and overall just brought everything kind of down to more of a studio or, or second structure scale. So beyond that, um, I think that's the bulk of the items that were noted um, and we addressed almost all of them. Or I believe that we have. Um, so okay. any other additional questions, we're open to them. Okay, okay, James, thank you. Holly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so for the record, this structure is an infill uh, garage within the Sherburn Heights subdivision. And this entire property um, is an adjacent uh, lot to the circa 1920 Colonial Revival at 7 Sherburn. Um, 
appreciate the removal of the um, balconies. That is wonderful. Um, the and in the change to the outdoor uh, shower, um, I would um, mention about the nano door. That I guess is that the nano door right here. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, Hopefully that will be screened because that is an atypical feature. Uh, appreciate breaking up the dormer. Um, however, it is a little odd um, configuration of having two and one. It, it, it isn't a little, you know, not so symmetrical at all. Um, maybe it looks like the meeting rails meet, but maybe bring in the um, them together. I do appreciate the 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 change though on that. Um, those are, and I think, was there change to the height at all? Because we mentioned how it seemed to be a rocket ship. It kind of still has that verticality. But those are my comments, Mr. Chair, and I know mm -hmm. HDAG has some I'm comments as well. About the verticality. Thank you. Way, so. um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Um, now, I wonder, if, does Mickey have anything to say on this one? We, we do, right? Thanks. Okay, good. Um, so this building is unnecessarily tall and could be lowered a foot by reducing the ceiling height of the first floor six inches and lowering the second floor windows and plates another six inches. The three foot wide sliver of a gable is inappropriate. A secondary gable addition should be much deeper to represent, represent an entire room not to be used as a decorative add-on. The west dormer is too wide and should be split up. Thanks. What's it? Did you say thanks? Yep, that's yeah, it. That's okay, great. Thanks. I think you covered it actually. Um, all right, board members. Well, can I ask a question? I think I yeah, asked. Yeah, sure. It before. What, yeah. what is the ground cover on? Well, I think it's he usually posts it at the beginning. It, it's on the it's on the front cover, but this structure is four hundred seventy nine square feet, and the property is under coverage in general. Yeah. It's in the upper right hand corner. Yep. Yeah, 479. There you go. Well I just think that it is it's like I don't know. It, it's very busy and there's very little left green that you see from the street or or around and back either. So uh, sometimes too much is put on a lot. I think the um, south elevation is too tall to be brought down. The uh, on the on the west elevation, I'd like to see the windows on the first floor separated and and at least put under the windows up above one, at least I don't think you can get the two of them up there. The, uh, why is the roof on the dormer, on the shed, so thin? Is it, the dormer is not very thick, it goes into the house, it looks like it's, it's not set back. It it makes the top of this building overpowering from everything else except that one uh, says original, and that's and that's not this. The building has to be brought down, and I don't know. Maybe this too much stuffed in the lot, but it is very unattractive that way, this way. So they, that's it. Okay, thank you, Diane. Who's next? I can go. <clears throat> uh, sure, Jesse, go. Um, I agree with the height. It's almost when you took out the balconies, you exposed the midsection of the building. Um, Excuse me, Jesse. Sorry. Sorry again. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Terry. Um, I was saying that the um, the midsection of the building looks as like where the height needs to be, be lost. I would 
take the full foot out of there if you can. Um, but that's, I feel like it's just, that's where the height problem is. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with uh, the dormers the way they are. Um, as you, know, you can see in the previous approval, we had a full dormer and I think the, uh, the, the, it is a little odd, but they are symmetric mm -hmm. in, the, in their own. So uh, I'm okay with that. But if you could reduce the height, um, especially in the midsection of the building, uh, that would be much appreciated. Okay, Jesse, thank you. Uh, Abby, you ready? Yeah, I think um, everybody's saying it, that, that it's just too tall. And I also think it's just too big. It's just, it's squished back in that corner. The, the pool is shoehorned in as well. It's, it just needs some breathing space. So I think, you know, shave off some footage here and there and it's, would probably be, be okay, but right now it's it's sort of stuck in there. Okay, thank you, um, Connie. Mm. Nothing further, you know. It's just it looks very too tall. Uh, too tall, definitely. Yeah. Okay, and the only other thing that that uh, Mickey talked about, and I would like absolutely agree with is this gratuitous little yeah. gable appendage. It's only like three or four feet deep. So I question why it's there at all and what it's preventing you from doing. If it were a little shed that only went up to the level of the first floor or the second floor floor, then you could put more windows in on the gable and it would have more sense because right now that big gable is seriously under fenestrated with one window in it. So I would strongly suggest you treat it more like a bay on the first floor and um, you know just stop it there. Uh, those are my comments. Should we move for some? Ray, can I, can I ask a question or make a recommendation uh, that might appease the board? Okay. Um, I can take the building down uh, 18 <laughs> inches in total uh, by making it a mud sill and pulling six inches out of the second floor. I think that will assuage a lot of the fears as to its total height. And I think your comment about turning the uh, gable on the south to a shed and just removing the second peak, that's something that I had been discussing with the client. We just hadn't gotten to that point yet. Um, okay. If we were to do that, would that appease the board through staff? 18 inches off of the off of that. Overall height, 12 inches on the first floor and six inches out of the second floor. So I'd bring it down to uh, 21 six total. And I did bring it down a little bit in the last one, but not nearly that volume. Yeah. Two, two inches. It, what? You brought it down two inches. Two inches. Might be four and change, but not. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, you're right. You're right, Abby. Sorry. I'm looking so, at the small numbers. So, so, so. Uh, how are we all feeling about that? Okay, does that, so that does that make everyone comfortable enough to do this through staff? You scrap that that last bump out on the south that. elevation. Yeah, if you look at the south elevation, that would no longer what well, would the big gable would remain. The big, the big gable would come down a foot mm -hmm. and a half the ridge, and the secondary gable, which is only like two and a half feet or three feet, thirty deep, inches, yep, would really become like a shed appendage only the roof would be then at the level of the second floor floor and then you would be able to put a couple of windows up there rather than just that one one lonely window there does that does that just go away what or this section you're talking about it, this, to a first floor. Uh, it would go it would the, end there. there and would only be single story oh okay so so it reduces would, the massing that would reduce the mass okay. correct what do you all think? Yes. Is that okay? I mean, that's okay. All right. So then I think we could have a motion that would approve that with those um, provisos. Make that motion. Okay, so Diane has made the motion to approve this through staff with the following changes, that the ridge height will come from 23 feet down to 21 and a half feet. That's item number one. And item number two is that on the south elevation, the gable will break and become a shed roof over the triple doors at the first floor level. 
and that there will be, let's just give them like two windows, two windows rather than one in the gable end above on the second floor. Yeah. I'll okay. match that east elevation window configuration. Uh, that work east elevation window. Left dormer. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because honestly, that one faces back into the site. So I really can't see it. Or we, we probably shouldn't care about it all that much, but doing this, I think, would be a step in the right direction. Ray, so, what are, are we doing anything with that south? Yeah, yeah. So that above That's those the one that you said yes. about the window and above all that those jazz. triple doors, there's going to be a shed, shed yeah. roof. Oh, the God. little gable is going to go away. Thus, the rocket ship is going to go away, and then we're going to have two two C windows in the gable end. Then and that okay. is Diane's motion. Yeah. All those in favor of Diane's motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, very good. That passes. I appreciate the aye. comments, guys. Thanks. Do we? Uh, is somebody on? Is uh, Somebody on for the landscape portion of this? Yep, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I think this is my last one. Well, this is everybody's last one. Yeah. Well, well you know, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not thinking anymore. So. Well, just think for 10 more minutes. <laughs> just hang in there. Hang in there. You can just do it. You can do it, Abby. The That's Lindsay. Uh, He's hey, on. Hi. Do they honestly think they can get a tree in there? Okay, so have faith, Diane. Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. uh, Lindsay Congleton for the applicant. Um, it's the same board, Lindsay, by the way. Okay, cool. Um, so we heard all your comments prior. Um, so we uh reduced the hardscape uh, a bunch, um, reduced the, the patio, um, for the chaise lounges to just a small little section, um, added more greenery, uh, re removed the fire pit patio area. Uh, we added evergreens um, to screen in the back area, which should ho hopefully solve the visibility um, of, the, of the backyard. Um, we removed the Belgian block edging from the driveway. Um, and then we shifted the stepping stones from the right side to the left side, which minimized the amount of stones. Um, I think in general, we really, the goal was to kind of shrink the amount of hardscape because we know that was a concern and we've reduced the size of the pool slightly. Um, but I think like with the addition of the evergreens in the back that I think the visibility will be minimal from Sherburn way. And I don't think there would be any visibility from Sherburn Turnpike um, at all because the house would cover it. Wait. Okay. Wait, can I ask? You can ask. You, your question is, when oh. did we approve, did we approve the driveway coming in on Lincoln? Yes, we did. Oh, uh, great. Uh, well, no, no, it's actually not Lincoln. It's, it's Sherburn, Sherburn Turnpike. Sherburn, Turnpike. Sherburn, Sherburn, I mean. Yeah. Yes, we did. Okay. I think it's always um, come off with Sherburn, Diane. It's always, there's always yeah, been. I just... Yeah. Um, okay. So, Holly, anything? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to um, echo the, the appreciation of the reduction in the size of the uh, pool and the removal of the patio at the fire pit and no Belgian block around the, as an edging. I don't know where that even comes from. Um, it's an odd feature, but overall the reduction in hardscaping um, is appreciated. It would be nice to see a little bit more and more vegetation within, within those areas, say um, around the uh, pool in the studio. It seems to still have some, um, you know, hardscaping on, in, in those areas, but those are my comments, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay, Mickey, anything? Thank you. Yeah, just a brief one that um, our only comment is the driveway is shown as 12 feet wide, which just seems wider than necessary. If that could come down to 10, that would be an improvement. Okay, good idea. Yeah, yep. we could do that. Okay, now it's to the board. Comments? I can go. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, uh, pool equipment location? It's going to be in the studio, in the basement. In the basement. Um, <clears throat> the, um, I appreciate the reduction in the pool and reduction in the patio. 
Um, I mean, it, if it's not being seen, it's not being seen. But I, one thing I don't want to see if you're going to be planting evergreens is a, is a large wall of Leland cypresses. But no one shears. Yeah. Um, just, you know, just, it, you know, it, it causes problems down the road. They don't, you know, you, you, they get too big and, they, and and then next thing you know, you're just having bigger problems. You can see it all over the island where these walls of Leland cypresses yep. eventually aren't doing their job. So um, I would put that in there that the not, not to be Leland cypresses, you're going to have to get a little creative. Um, yeah, we, we've called out arborvitaes. Arborvitaes. Emerald green. Okay. That's what the deer Arbor, call it too. Arborvitaes. Yeah, yeah arborvitaes. I mean, well, the deer are eating everything. They're eating privet these days. So, we, Arborvitae is by far the most favorite evergreen that they like to eat. Green giant, they don't like so much. And as you're right, yeah, not as much, but I've seen them eat those as well. Unless it's on members. Um, so, um, yeah, so I just, um, I mean, I would almost rather see a fence than a big wall of evergreens. But anyways, if we're going to be putting uh, evergreens, please don't make them new cypresses. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Diane? Uh, well, there's not much you can do with it. There, there it is. The steps, that's a, a stairway or all going along sort of the north end of the house, no greens, the greens stop both sides, right? And you got a six foot fence there or six foot hedge. So you can't view the pool. Um, I don't know, I don't know any way to improve it. That's, that's it. Okay. Abby. Well, yeah, to uh, Jesse's point, like, um, if this wasn't so pushed into the corner, you could have a little more leeway when stagger those uh, pines so that they look a little more naturalistic instead of in a row. Um, I think that is becoming a horrible norm. Um, so like, do you really need a spa and a pool? Why not just do a, you know, you could take out the, you could just have a pool there of, of like a normal size and get rid of all this hardscaping and spa and shallow area um, and have a little bit more greenery around it. I think it would be, be I'd be able to sleep better uh, if anybody cares. So, can I speak to that? The, the spas inside the pool. What was that, Lindsay? Uh, the the spa is actually inside the pool. I know. Um, right. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying reduce the whole thing, but that's all I've got. Okay. Connie. What are the river birch? Were they are they something that's being proposed or? Yeah. So the river birch are interspersed, like so. We've got like the evergreens on the outside, and then we've got a layered planting. So like we've actually like expanded the planting more than what we had previously. So to help with the screening, but also to increase the greenery around the pool. Um, so it's not just a row of evergreens, like on the mm -hmm. inside, there will be some other plant material kind of sticking up out above the evergreens. Um, so we, we, we tried to piece the board like, you know, and, and I think it'll look better too, to have more of a layered planting out there, less hardscape. Um, I mean, I think the hardscape on the, uh, <clears throat> on the side of the pool it decreased by like at least 30 or 40 percent um so we, we really did take into mind the boards can you know what the board wanted and i think it looks great based on that too thank you <laughs> anything else Connor? would you be opposed to reducing the driveway to 10 feet oh he's got to do that yeah together. Yeah, we're, we're okay. happy to do that. Yeah. Okay. No and the pool? Did somebody say and reduce the pool? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. 
<laughs> okay. Well, the patio. She's going to do this. I'm good with the driveway. No. I think the patio. Anything else, Connie? No. Okay. So, yeah, 10 feet on that. And then, of course, we are going to definitely, absolutely append our uh, not visible at time of inspection. Yep. Caveat. Uh, well, so what's the pleasure of the board on this one? Up, oh, sorry, Lindsay, we're 10 seconds over. <laughs> oh, oh man. So there are yeah, varieties? The, the, uh, they are, they're labeled as arborvitae on a plan, or at least some of them. It says TP. Do you, do you want to, do, do you want to leave the Leland's yeah, can, out? I'll make the motion. Con okay. Conspicuously leave I'm the gonna Leland's leave, out. I'm going I'm to make the motion. So uh, motion to approve with uh, making the driveway entrance 10 to 10 feet in yep. not using Leland cypresses as a screening and um oh and the not the seat of pool uh for um not visible time inspection, inspection. Or, uh, non, yeah thank you that. okay that's jesse's motion all those in favor of jesse's motion say aye any aye uh, yes aye. aye any opposed okay there we go last application of the evening thank uh, you Thanks. And uh, you see, you put it on Bartlett Road. They're not good at Bartlett's. Oh, to your left. There's a, a pivot head and then a pool right yeah. through the pivot head. Oh, really? Like basketball hoop. And, oh, God. And, uh, yeah. Did we do that? Look at where that thing is. Yeah. Okay, so where are we with minutes? I, I think I we have to ask, and I'm sorry to do this to you, Terry, but um, there's those two meanings were kind of important. The, the third and the tenth, and there were some comments that I wanted to be sure got added in. So I'm going to ask to hold those. Okay. Um, yes, I, so I will try to get them done tomorrow, but it may not happen. Okay, so um, the motion is to vote Terry. Uh, the HCC person of the year. All those in favor? With a yeah. raise. Uh, with a raise. <laughs> She's retired. Yeah, get her a big bonus back on the way out. Yeah. Mother, mother of Ter orange. Uh, my, my raise is I will become a lady of leisure. <laughs> Boy, that's, that is one hell of a raise. Um, hey, Terry, HCC. thanks a lot. Thanks again, Terry. <laughs> nice I, like you. I said, there have been some ups and downs, but there have been some good times and Good. moments that i've enjoyed and right now i think you guys have a really really great board oh thank you thank, thank you one, one of the you best in a very long double time. that raise Thanks. i just mentioned <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we love you terry yeah yeah we do very sweet. okay so i guess we're gonna move to adjourn huh john john McLaughlin. okay john is motion to adjourn all those in favor say aye aye, aye. any opposed oh there we go